So, boys, y'all know what we're all doing up here for? Uh, two for one at Wendy's? Uh, that's Is that what, what we're I'm doing? Bet. Two for bet. one. Bet. I'm not yep. fat. Wow. How are y'all farmers yet? Y'all don't know what the city's trying to do or the town. Listen, I just got back from vacation. What do you want from me? You think I pay attention to the city? I would if I was you because apparently big people are coming and they want to take all of our farms and make this place bigger. Wow. This town doesn't make enough money. Like a neighborhood? Like suburbs? Like they want to... Oh, hold on, hold on. You're, they're wanting to take all of our land to take it and turn it into subdivisions. That sounds like we can make money off of that. Yeah, how much they paying? Yeah. I heard something about data centers. I'm just throwing that out there. Is Amazon trying to move it? They do have a warehouse here, don't they? So y'all want to know how much we're going to get out of this? What? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Three grand an acre. Three grand? I can I make nine grand right that. now. I sold a farmer. Yeah, that's all we're getting. Yeah. So it's either that. we go in there and we try to earn the money to keep this town how it is, or we get screwed over. So basically, we need to make more money so that there's more tax revenue coming in? Yep. Oh, goody. Tax. Yeah. So either we all can work together, help each other's farms out so we can get more revenue in, or bye-bye. <laughs> But well, see, I gotta work with all these Chevy people. Well, I mean, I already have well, him hired as an employee. I don't want to do anything more. Nate, should we walk in this building, this town hall building, and find out what's going yeah. on? Yeah, that might be best bet because we got very unreliable sources. So, Bri was on to something. Thanks for calling us together, Bri. So, the, the town needs to raise $3 million, it sounds, to avoid these developers from taking over. They, they want us to pay them $3 million so no. we don't lose our funds. No, we need to increase revenue for the city, not necessarily like hand them money, but like, for example, when you go buy a new tractor, you're buying it from a local dealership. So that's one of the main things that we got to take out of this is we need to buy local. We need to make sure gotcha. we need to make sure that we're, you know, putting back in what we're getting out of the local economy. So it keeps cycling here instead of like, we're not going to go over to Nebraska or somewhere and buy a tractor because that doesn't help our town. Yeah, they, don't wanna, they don't want us outsourcing. Yeah. Yeah. Cause that's hurting the town. All the outsourcing is hurting, hurting the town and it's causing it to die. And we need to turn that around. There you go. Or, See? or we get $3,000 an acre and we move somewhere else to farm that doesn't exist these days for that yeah, cheap. I mean, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Think about this. If we all put our money together, we could buy a really nice farm. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh man, he's gone way, he's gone all out for Halloween. This looks great. Look at this dog around the bush. That, oh, I don't know if that's a dog, that's scary. Oh, hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Oh, it's going pretty good. How do you like the old orchard over here? Oh man, it's great. It's looking good. Uh, your decorations are amazing. Is this, uh, this had to have been expensive. That was really expensive. Uh, I'm not gonna say a price, but uh, yeah, don't tell the wife about that. I was gonna say it's gonna scare the kids. What do they think of it? Oh, they are, they're terrified of it. That's awesome. That's they don't fun, even come though. over here. Yeah. yeah, that's one way to keep them away. Um, speaking of wives and and stuff, uh, yeah. So uh, wife wanted me to head over here because we're having a little get together and we we're we we're wanting to see if you had any cider ready yet. I I don't have any ready right now. Uh, I Dang. will tomorrow though. So if you come back tomorrow. Okay. I'll have okay. Some. Yeah, that's good. And I was, you know, I haven't been around for a while, so I thought I'd check on you too, just to say hi. And gosh, after that meeting we had. Yeah, that oh. meeting was, uh, that was rough. I haven't been down to your farm in a while. How's that going? It's look, it's going good. We're doing some inventory right now, figuring out, you know, if we're ready for, for all the spring, you know, planting season and all that. Um, you can head over and take a look at it if you want. Yeah, for sure. Let's do that. Take a little peek around the corner here. I looked at everything except for down here. It's, it's changed it up a bit since I've been here last time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got the trusty scarecrow right here. Scaring oh, off all the birds. Your orchard is going so good. My goodness. Yeah. Ooh. Hopefully one day this whole hay field and everything will be turned into apple trees. But that's uh, that's a long way down the line. Well, I got to say, I'm really worried about this town. I really hope that we can find a way to solve this problem and keep our farms it's it's not ideal but i guess that means we need to get to work right really got to get that new field started i think what we're gonna do is start by cutting this grass back here and i think you know happy super nice neighbor i think i might need to talk to him about borrowing some equipment to rake this up we just have a mower i haven't done hay so we got to get this field all prepped and decide what we want to do. Let's go look at our other field, though. You can see we used to have wheat in here, and we got that harvested this year and sold already. That was before we knew we were going to get the chickens. I didn't know she wanted chickens. But yeah, this is our other field over here, so we got to get this prepped this winter. 
get it ready for spring, but I think we're gonna do beans in here. And I think I wanna turn this area over here into two separate fields. I think one we'll do with a small wheat field and the other I think we'll do our large corn field. So yeah, we'll get this going here to start with and then the bigger one. So let's go get some equipment ready. All right, let's go into the shop here. I was doing some repairs on the old Alice Chalmers here. And it's it's looking pretty good. Did an oil change on it today. Let's get this shut. We don't need that open. And everything's all prepped to use. We just need to go pick up the rush hog and get mowing, I think. Just start getting some of this grass taken care of. Yeah, we don't want to start over here. We will do this one, but I think I want to get this other one prepped for a little bit of wheat to go in the ground for the chickens. So we'll head over here and start with this field. We're going to cut it first. Try to take advantage of the grass. And then at that point, we'll probably plow it, get it prepped for seed. Well, that's all done. That was a little bit of a grind, but this should be pretty good for a new wheat field. I need to get a hold of Happy, though, because I do think I need to borrow some of his equipment. So we'll try to get a hold of him, get a, a wind rower over here, maybe see what he has for a baler. But also, I wanted to talk to him about this field over here I noticed was for sale. And I kind of wanted to find out if he was interested in buying it. Yeah, some soybeans growing here that the Hammond family owns. So it's, yeah, I know they're they're wanting to sell. So I do want to chat with Happy about that. I'm gonna go ahead and see if he's home right now. Yeah, everything's all packed up. I don't know, I don't see his truck. So he might be in town right now, but yeah, this baler would be nice to use and potentially just this rower. I don't know if I want to turn it into hay, gosh. I don't know, I need to get a hold of him. I know he's got a lot of work. He's got a lot of grass on the ground as well. well let me just take a peek here. Oh, his truck is here. Oh, doesn't look like anyone's home. Yeah, I'll, I'll give him a call later on. So if you're a little confused on what's going on here, this is called Last Chance RP. And as you saw in the intro, we have one last chance to save our farmland before the county forces us to sell it to them or to the developers that want to come in here and build some neighborhoods and little subdivisions and such. So we're going to bust our butts and try to figure out how to become more profitable so that we, you know, put more money back into town. And, you know, there are pieces of equipment I need to buy, so that'll start helping. We're going to make sure we buy local. And, yeah, our farm, we've been farming here for years. This was originally my family's farm. We've taken it over since my father passed away. And it's uh, it's been fun. You know, we haven't done a lot with this grass field. Years ago, we used to create a lot of hay out of it and sell it that way. I've sold all that hay equipment because I just wasn't interested in that. Yeah, this is our farm. We got a few nice tractors in there and our planter in there as well as a cultivator. Gravity wagon over here as well as a spreader that we do for lime and fertilizer sometimes. You can see here we're storing our seed, fertilizer, and lime there. Yeah, we got our house over here. Nice little house. It's about all we need in our garage as well. And a little playground for the kids in the back here. They really love it. I think one of these days we'll probably get a dog. Yeah, I think that's missing in this in this family. Sure how to get a hold of Happy is I'll start cutting this other field, at least the outline of it, and get that prepped because that will be, I'm not sure, we might do beans and beans this year. Since we don't have a corn header, we need to get a little bit of cash coming in so we can buy some extra equipment. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump back in the tractor and most some more grass and this one's going to be a much bigger field and this is you know open to bring in a lot of money with this field so that's that's the plan here and i do also own a factory in town which we'll have to get to later on i don't know if we'll make it there today so oats is something that we produce in that and we make oatmeal in our factory and we recently purchased that. It's new to the family. Uh, it was a good deal. My uncle used to own it, and he's uh, handed it over to us. We just got lucky there. And so we're going to take that over 
And I got to learn a little bit about that business as well, but we need to find a place to, to grow oats because that's the main product that we make there is some oatmeal. So yeah, lots of fun stuff to figure out. Yeah, and our property line ends right here. So that's going to be where we have to end the field. The, the city owns uh, everything to the, to the right of me right now. So we'll go about right there. That should be good. And we'll work it back around towards our honey. We do have some bees over here that we produce honey from. And so I don't want to cut too close to that. And just some storage for the, the honey pallets and such. So we'll loop right here by the bins and work our way back. And that's, yeah, that'll be a decent field. And just kind of taking advantage of the property we already own. I think it'll be a very smart, wise idea as we move forward and try to become a much more profitable farm to keep our town alive. What do they have here? It's classic sandwiches. I don't see any breakfast on here. They have coffee though. Gosh, I guess we gotta go inside for the breakfast menu. Everyone else should be here soon. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'll just go to Wendy's, see if they have their menu, the breakfast menu up. Doesn't look like it. You gonna be able to get out of your truck there? Yeah, that was a, a <laughs> bit of a struggle there. These trucks are too big for these parking spots. Yeah, I think these are, you know, compact car parking or something. Yeah, I guess. No wonder this town's trying to kick us out. Right. You d you do realize this isn't a parking spot, right? But it is a parking spot. I made it. It isn't. You see, there's lines here. There's not lines here. So Nate, go it's not Nate, a go spot. look in between Happy and my truck and tell me whose fault that is. We're not touching each other, and I'm in my line. Whose is whose truck? Mine's on the. Well, I guess. Mine's the GMC. His, oh, you his know what? The ship. We're both to blame here, aren't we? We're, we're, I mean, technically, we're both in the lines. Yeah, right? my front tire's touching, Ish. your back tire's touch. Yeah, we're both to blame. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what is this horn? You... It's legal enough. Oh, my gosh. Who's got the ugly Chevy? Listen, I, I didn't wake up this early to deal with this, okay? Remember, we need yeah. everyone to pull this off. Like, so we're playing nice. Do we have to play nice? Just for a little while. I don't want to play still, nice. Hold on, hold on. Just for hold a little on. while. I've still yet to see the other farmer, Mr. I think it's, everyone calls him Master. I've yet to see that guy yet. So I don't Who's want that? to It's another farmer around here. Oh, really? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Do we really have to put up with these guys? Is oh. he parking at the post office? Oh, that must be where he works. I guess. I'm about to say, I loved how we said 6 o'clock and it's 6.010. And it was still yet yeah, everybody. Did you just say, you just say I, six oh ten? Six what? Six eleven. It was six ten when I said it. You said six oh ten. Six oh ten. I just pulled in over here. That's what I'm doing. Six ten seven. Oh. That's hey. not the same thing. Guys, the city guys are here. The city boy. Oh, the city boy. Oh jeez. I know you didn't call me a city boy. No, we're talking about the people <laughs> in that car. Oh, that's, my, that's my business partner. Hey, don't, can't did, drive. did you just hit the post office? <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Did he that's, a, that's another repair the city's going to have to make. Oh, you're just damaging this guy's car, Why are too. You, it, it what matter. is going it's on here? here. It's this, guy, this guy right here is the entire reason we owe all this money. No kidding. It really oh, is. my God. Oh, my Lord. No. Y'all know what's worse? He's also the reason my brother got in an accident a few months ago. Huh? Yeah, this this blue car here cut me off at a uh, red light one day. Yep, and bam. What about this Jeep Compass over here that you just like ripped the whole side off of? Yeah, well, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a that. problem. What do you mean never hit that? We all saw you hit it. I can see yeah. it. <laughs> Plus there's we, cameras on the building. I'm about to say, yeah. I'm physically <laughs> looking at you touching it right now. There's no <laughs> way you can say you didn't hit it, okay? So we all agree, if nothing else, they're paying for breakfast, so... Let's go get yep. breakfast. All right. Yep. Yep. Let's go get breakfast. What yeah, if they food. serve lobster? We'll make it as expensive as we can. Who eats lobster, lobster. in the morning? There's no yeah, lobster at Tim Hortons. Alrighty. Thank you, city boys, for paying for the food. I'll say that. Yeah, you guys actually you. do come in handy. Anybody else's eggs undercooked? Yeah, slightly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't get the, why the we hash browns. Eggs. The hash browns wasn't any better, trust me. Well, you got to get your eggs over easy and mix it together. Yeah, you got to do that, bud. Yeah. Plus, What's you got lobster as well. Right? Yeah, I was just trying to make it as messy as I could. Lobster and that's hash browns, that's lunch. that's a breakfast yeah, champion. Hold on. So me and Blake have to pay, right? Yep. Yeah. Wait, do y'all not pay? 
Yeah, I'll pay. No. I'm about to say the I bill was thousand the bill was a thousand dollars. Wait so. a minute. Did we all just walk out of there without paying? Before everybody leaves, we need to talk about what everybody's doing today. I'm right, working on my farm. Today? Hold on, can we just talk about Chris parking his truck in the middle of the road? It's not parked, it's still running. Hold on. Oh great. It's not so running no more. <laughs> Well, y'all know with everything else going on. There, it's know, fine. Out. It's fine. See, look, it's fine. I got okay. my hazards on. It's fine. Oh, so I, I guess I guess let's talk about what okay. everybody's doing today. So who wants to go first? You know, you want to know what I'm doing? All right, I got to remove the whole hayfield. Are you gonna pick, Are you gonna pick some apples? And I'll pick some apples. My yes. my wife really wants some of that cider. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll get some apples going. Make it some apple cider. I'll are let you, you know when. Some, some apple pie too. I mean, I can. I know uh, me and Blake today are gonna focus on planting and whatnot at the farm. Okay. I'm. I, I don't have Yosho or Hazard right now, so it looks like I'm going to have to work with somebody else today. So anybody need help? I gotta head to the dealership to pick up a trailer and a, a bale wrapper. That's what I'm gonna do first. I mean, oh, that's nice. That's nice. Mr. And I Rich might. Over there. I might need to get a plow too, unless someone has one I can borrow. I, I think we have a. I've got, head. I've got a shank. I've got, I got, a, I think it's like a six row shank, that I can take over there and help you out with. Oh, that would be it. great. Yeah, that and would. Wait. Lifesaver. And we got a bell wrapper if you want to borrow it. Oh, yeah. Then I guess I just need the trailer. That's amazing. Yeah. All right. One so I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna head to the dealership. I'll pick up the trailer. Well, I, I kind of need one for other things. Well, so, and then I can swing by and get the wrapper. Yep. It, well, what you should do is stop and get you a another d a plow, so if so I can come over there and help you out, and then we you can have one as well, because you never know when you'll need a plow. Yeah, I'm gonna need one long term. That's true. Yeah, yep. and my plow is just sitting out in the uh, what's it called the grass section of my farm, and it's not doing anything. I might have to look over it before I take it over there though. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I'll go to the dealership, get that trailer, swing by Bry's farm. All right. That was good. And Happy, I need to talk to you about something later on. All right. There's a property between us that's for sale, and I wanted to see about your thoughts on it. Okay. Yeah, we can look over that later. All right. And Nate, whenever you get done with them, if you want, you can help me and Alex with planting. Would I have to pull out one of my planters? Um, yeah. Yeah, probably. We, yeah, because we only have I'm one. I'm trying to so. delay that as quick as I can because uh, oh, you only have one? Okay. One yeah. of y'all can stop by my farm, and I and I y'all can help me pull out the planters, go through them real fast because both my planters are currently sitting all the way in the back of my shed. And in front of that is the cultivators. In front of that is the spreaders. So yeah, we can have fun with that. Oh great! Ooh, yippee! Sounds like you need to be more organized. <laughs> yeah. It's organized. It's just it was prepared for the opposite way around. So oh. we just gotta pull everything wow. out. To get <laughs> yeah. That's a spring. That's a job for spring. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it feels so good outside right now. It really does. It really does. Yeah. Hey, it's a little chilly on the weather, but that's about it. I mean, it's not too bad once you get your blood no. moving. Yeah, pretty much. Once you get up and going, it's not that bad. So, all right, boys. It is. We've been staying for 30 minutes. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Hey, real Let's quick. Go. Did everybody get that notification this morning from the government? Oh, what again? Again? Wait, what, what now? What Did notification? y'all get that notification from the government this morning? Not only are we having to deal with this stuff here in Iowa with them trying to like run us out and everything, but yeah. the government is trying to outlaw round bales. Oh, said, that's why? That's a no -go. They said animals aren't getting a square meal. <laughs> oh, I'm great. Done. Okay, no, okay, I'm done. okay. I'm, done. Really? <laughs> I, I'm sorry for him. <laughs> I, I'm sorry about him. Come here. No, I'm get, away, get away from me with that chainsaw. No, no, it's not a chainsaw. Come here, come here, come here. Well, come yeah, here. Man. I'm gonna wash this, I'm gonna wash your sins away. All right, get in the truck. You're driving. All right, let's see. No one's here. Uh, I did call beforehand, so maybe it's already here. Let's take it. Let's let's find out. All right, so twenty-four thousand dollars for a trailer, and then we also wanted to get a plow. So let's let's get that figured out. And that'll do it. Oh, hi guys. Uh Oh, hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. I, I think you get seeds at Tractor Supply these days. They have the best deals, at least from what I've seen. Yeah, I was going to say, we're going to get this trailer first and then go across the street. All right. Load up on seeds. Do you know where they put the items when they, uh, you know, you pre-order pre them and then you come here and pick them up? Are they in the back? Yeah, they're yeah. around back through the uh, gate. 
Oh, awesome. All right. Well, I'll see you guys later. I'm going to swing by. I might just follow you guys. I'm going to get this stuff hooked up, and yeah, I'll just follow you to your farm. Okay. All right. Hey, Chris, you notice your, uh, your lights aren't working on your trailer. What? Yeah. It's brand new. Is it plugged all the way in? Hmm. Actually, where is your guys' farm at? Uh, right down the street from Nate's. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna run this to my farms because I'm not gonna have room for that that wrapper. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring my tractor with me to pull the track the wrapper back. So I'll meet you guys there. All right, That'll okay. be a better idea. No, okay, bye. 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 Oh, hey, Chris, you're here. Hey, what's going on? This place looks amazing. I haven't been here in a while. Yeah, a few upgrades. No uh, kidding. Happened. It's looking great. Oh, yeah. Oh, that... All we're missing now is the cow barn that we had that was right over in that big old space. What happened? Over the winter, you remember how we got that really bad snowstorm? Oh, yes, I do. Yeah, let's just say they did not finish that barn very well, and it kind of collapsed. Oh, you guys didn't. You guys let the snow just sit on the roof the whole winter? We couldn't even get out our door. We kind of were trapped at our it house was, a little bit. It was pretty bad, yeah. So what, what happened with that? Did they, did you get like, did you have insurance? Yep, we did. And we got our insurance checked today. Oh, okay. So we're just going to have to figure out something to put over it. Oh, man. Look at that pit. Oh, my goodness. Yep, that's all of our silage from... September, I want to say. Oh, wow. All oh, right, yeah. man. Well, so you said you'd let me borrow your wrapper. Um, I'm willing to, you know, return the favor and help you guys out if you need anything around the farm. I don't have a ton of equipment to, like, do a borrow back type thing, but I'll definitely uh, do a job or two for you for it. Okay. Uh, do you have a planter? I do have a planter. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we got multiple fields that Ooh. need planting. Today. Oh, okay. Well, I got my Rappers. own, too. Oh, it's way back here, huh? Yep. All right, let me. I'll get my tractor over here and we'll help help move some stuff around. All right, Chris, I'm here. Oh, awesome. Yeah, you want to? Do you mind just pulling near me here and I'll make sure this one's gonna work. This. Oh, it's pretty rusted out back here. Ugh. I need to do some maintenance. When's the last uh, time you worked on your tractors? I've been doing pretty good on all of them except for this one. It's the oldest one on the on the lot here. All right, let's see. Let's see. Hopefully. What no, you don't heck? have a pin for this one. Yeah. Let's, uh, let me open my shop up here. Yeah, I'll let you do that. I should be able to get a pin installed on here pretty quick. Hopefully. All right, Brian, let's see if this did it. This should be fine. You want to try to put the pin in for me? Yep, I got you. All right, how, how am I looking? Ooh, nope, nope, that's not good. You are off. That's not off. good. That's not good. Yep, you're right there. Right. Oh, look at that. All right. Thank you so much. There I'll bring go. it. I'll bring it back right when I'm done. Alrighty. Nate? No. You around, Nate? Yeah. I'm here. Where are Somewhere. you at? The back room. Oh, okay. Oh, this is... Oh, there you are. Your place is looking spiffy. Yeah, I got a lot of work to do. I just got done changing the hole in this over here. A lot of work to do. Oh, you still got this, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, I couldn't get rid of that. No, I, I agree. Or, trust me, there's a lot of traction on this farm. It ain't usable. But I had to make sure that was. Yeah, that's nice. I'm, I'm glad you're still keeping up with it. That's beautiful. Oh, you, this is what you're gonna. Is this what you're gonna come help me with? Oh yeah. Oh, well I'm gonna look silly with uh, my puny little plow with, but we'll get it done. I'm about to say we should knock it out pretty quickly. Yeah, that's exciting. Whoo! This right here should be able to break the dirt up pretty good. It's supposed to do really well. Hey, I got a question. What? How well does this tractor go with my hat? It would look better if your hat wasn't blue. I know, but the blue looked good with my shirt. I know the blue is coming with your shirt, okay? <laughs> I got a match. You gotta go, go. Yeah, I know. All right, but well, I'm yeah. going to he head back. I just wanted to see if you are ready and let you know I'm ready. Got all, all my grass wrapped, and I'm, I'm ready to go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and fire up, and then I guess I'll be behind you. All right. See ya. See ya, bud. So I don't know if I told you I got two fields that were grass that I've mowed and created outlines, and I want to... We're going to turn those into actual fields now. No more grass. Are you done with grass? At least in those areas. I still got some if I eventually need it, but we should be good. I'd, I'd rather, you know, with all the problems going on with the government, I figured I need to make my farm a little more profitable than it's been in the past years. Well, hopefully this right here will help you get everything knocked out quicker. Oh, I definitely think it will. It'll be very appreciated, and, and I'll owe you. Ah, uh, yeah. I figured with all your fields, you're much. probably going to need help during harvest season. I've only got two harvesters. Yeah, but you got enough people to drive the carts. 
I only got one card. Hmm. I guess you don't need my help. I will need your help, trust me. <laughs> and it's going to be all men on deck. For planting and harvest, I'm going to definitely need a lot of help from everybody. Yeah, you got Because I don't know if you noticed, but I have the large amount of land here. Yeah, you got the most fields and the most the most land in the county, so yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, but I also got the biggest operation. I got some of the equipment to do it with. Where are you where are your farm hands at? They're all on vacation, okay? During planting all, season? That's what I said, okay? That's exactly what I said. They all mm. went on vacation. Just left me out here with nothing to do. I don't want to go ahead and get the planner started. I've already been putting the GPS in them. Yeah. By that's... the way, don't forget to look made me give you the information for your gps oh okay okay so you can keep your field data yeah that'd be great yeah i do need that apple man's busy man oh yeah he looks really busy i mean i hope he's got that cider ready my wife's been bugging me about it i've been over there a few times asking him that's a nice truck he's got though have we hit your land yet yeah i mean the field to the left here is mine um behind the trees oh no 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 we haven't it's just a couple more couple more of these poles and then it's my land so that's if you can see the outline of this field to the right that's ah. the that's the smaller one so it might make sense for me to do that unless you want unless we want to just do the same field at the same time I'm about to say it may be best if we just do the same field just knock them out all right let me go get uh hooked up to the plow and i'll be back <laughs> happy see if he'd be willing to help me out with some anhydrous later all right all right yeah i was gonna swing by there too and talk to him about a proposal i had for some land so maybe we'll run into each other oh yeah well after i get done with that i'm probably gonna head directly over to go help out bry and alex because bry, I, I think i think it's alex right now he's the one borrowing my tractor i need to make sure he ain't messing it up oh you're you're brave i know it's only in case i eat chicken live yeah, it'll, it'll, it's fine then. Yeah, that's no big deal. It'll, it'll handle it. Hey, Chris, what's going on? What's happening, Happy? Uh, we got a lot of apples here, as you can see, if you come over here. Oh, uh, my, this my goodness. This is my third load of the day. So uh, we've got plenty of apples. You're not kidding. Yeah, this is the first load I'm keeping here at the uh, orchard. I've taken the rest over to the processing company to make into apple cider. Oh, beautiful. Um, so these apples are staying here for now until I find someone else to sell them to. So... Got it. So you know Who's that pulling in? Is that is that Nate? Oh, it might be. Oh. Okay. Let's see, is it? It looks like it. Yeah, yeah. He was just helping me yeah. plow, plow my new fields. Remember we we're talking about that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. Nate came over and he saved the day. We're already done with that. Oh, wow. Yeah. I must be blind as a bat. I didn't see y'all when I walked up. Sorry about that. It's okay. What's happening? I told you. No, I'm coming to talk to Happy about. I know he I know he only has this out here. And he probably wants to do some astral work. So I got some hydrous work needs to be done. Okay. Uh, when you need that done by? You Like later today or now or when you're doing that? Oh, I was going to go see what was up with uh, Bri, and, Bri and Alex first, which I called them beforehand. And I heard a rumor 
Chris, that they're already done with their fields. They're done planting? Yeah, but I think what I heard, they said they left one field only for you. Hmm. You know, wow. leaving leaving a field for somebody that doesn't, you know, work for the farm, if it doesn't get planted, it's, it's going to be rough for them. That's what I said. I heard a rumor, too. This one kind of potentially affects all of us. Okay. So you know this field uh, directly next to you, Happy? Yeah. Yep. I, th I think Ken owns that? Yes. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... I heard that Ken was talking with the developers and was going to sell. No way. He's selling? That's what I heard. So I was, I'm was i tempted to go down to the bank and try to get a loan to buy it, but I wasn't sure what your plans were. So, I mean, it's closest to your farm. I didn't want to, if you were planning on expanding or anything, I, I, I wouldn't want to step on your toes. No, I have no need for it. Uh, I've got enough here where I've got a lot to do anyway. Uh, there's no need to expand at all, so it's all uh, yours if you want it. I just kind of feel like I gotta go get that loan and prevent yeah, for a little neighborhood from going over there. It's a good size field, so I mean, there could be yeah, could be a little tiny subdivision over there. That would not be good. Nate, you you know Ken? Uh, I had a meal with him once or twice. I can't believe he's thinking about doing that. I, and I'm trying to find well, someone to confirm old. it. I haven't seen him around though. He he is kind of older, and he. You know what I mean? He's trying to get out of the farming game a little bit. I mean, I bought some equipment off him the other day, so I knew he was trying. Oh, so he's, he's going to try something. I better move fast then. So yeah, I'll try to get a hold of him and let him know that that's my thought. Cause I want to, I want to, I don't want, I don't want houses right there, right by my farm. I don't either. Um, there would be a good thing for me though. There'd be a lot more business over here, but uh, I really don't want a subdivision right next to my house. I was about to say, you do realize that all three of us kind of live right next to each other, and I don't want a subdivision that close. Yeah, I know. I mean, if they put a subdivision that close, I'm just letting y'all know who needs free fertilizer because I will go buy chicken manure and just park it on your fields. <sighs> All right. All right. I guess that's one way to prevent it. But, yeah, so I was thinking about <laughs> yeah. paying, you know, market value instead of this undercutting. What are they, 300? What is it, 300 an acre they're trying to give us? 3,000. 3,000. 3, yeah, yeah, that's not, that's not going to work. No. Uh, you'll probably have to give them about close to five. About close... No, nine to Five ten. Five or six. Yeah, I was going to say. Nine to ten because it is farmland. Yeah. You have to give it close to nine to ten an acre. Yeah, I'm not sure. I was I was going to go over there and see if there was a crop on it yet. I, I didn't notice when I drove by. So I was kind of uh, wondering if that. No. I might have to calculate that into the purchase too. But if he hasn't planted anything, he's probably not planning on it based on what you're saying. No, he is completely getting out of the game. So I, yeah, I will tell you, you might want to move quickly before another farmer tries to buy it. Yep. Or... Worst case scenario, the subdivision buys it. But if the subdivision buys it before you do, you ain't getting that land. No, that's true. I'm uh, That'll be so, the next thing I do today. If the subdivision does go up, you do pigs, right, Nate? Yeah. So you can put those big, fancy pig buildings right next to the subdivision, right? I would have to have permission to do it on your land, and we'd have to... Uh, yeah, I would, yep, I would give you permission, yes. That way, it's and right next to the divisions. They smell well, that every day. And it sandwiches well, here's our thing, land, though. so you, you could put it on both sides. You can put it on my field and Happy's but, field. There you go. But here's the problem is before they put the subdivision up, we would instantly need to apply for it. True. We would instantly need to apply for the, like, before they even get the loans or anything like that for the subdivision. If they buy it, we need instantly to go ahead and get the building contracts for those for those buildings to put up because once subdivision is built they won't let me build those that's true right that's true yeah and i've already got told that one farmer did sell out some land already did he really mm -hmm. if you know where the field i think most people call it field 40 is yeah yeah i know where that's at that's yeah, on, on the east side east. of the county right yeah it's on the east side of the county but that's already been sold gosh dang do you know what they're building there? A subdivision. A subdivision. Gosh dang. I thought I thought that was a little bit far east for the subdivision, but uh, I guess they're taking everything. They're wanting everything. Um, they're also going to. Tr what I heard is they're going to try to buy that land forty one also, so that they can actually make like a second town right there. And if they're dang. getting that close to the current co op, it's only a matter of time before they actually buy the co op. Exactly, and then we're screwed. So yeah, then we have nowhere to sell to except the train. Yeah. So. We yeah, keep that in mind. I'm going to I'm going to head out and get on the phone with my my realtor and my lender and see if I can pull this off. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, man. All right, guys. Peace. I'll see you later. You have a good one. Yeah, good. good luck. Thank you.
<laughs> so you, you want you want to do some hazardous work instead of messing with oh. the Yeah, I've done enough apples for today. We just got done with the realtor and we got a $500,000 loan to buy that property, but it is ours. We did a digital signing of the loan documents and that'll be coming through here in a couple days, but it's ours. So that's something we're gonna have to take an eye on and look into getting it surveyed as well. The surveying came back on these two fields as well. Everything's looking great good soil types so we're gonna get the lime spreader all set up get some lime put down on these fields and then i'll be able to plant but i gotta get lime on all three beforehand yeah hey, hey, hey Chris, what's I, happening i had to stop by because uh you know how i'm doing anhydrous the nate right yes yeah and uh we need to borrow a tractor do you have a, a bigger tractor that i could borrow i'm pretty sure i saw you had one yeah the case is in there pretty lonely i haven't used it much Okay, yeah, so I can no, borrow that. Yeah, thing. absolutely. Yeah, for sure. All right. I just drive the semi over here because my truck is still at the dealership when I bought the semi. So, uh, I oh, guess yeah, I yeah, you can, semi here yeah, now. You can, you can park it here. That's fine. Absolutely. All right. Yeah, it's well, right over you. here. Here's the keys. All right. Thank you. Thank there you go. All right. Thanks. I'll see you later. Have fun. What a day. I got everything done. I needed to get done. Got the lime down on it. We're going to have to get some fertilizer going next and then planting. Good thing I wasn't planning on doing that today with uh, letting letting Happy borrow the tractor. But yeah, definitely an eventful day. And I was I was a little worried for a while that this town's going to fall apart. But seeing all these fa farmers come together, it's making me, making me feel pretty good about it. And gosh, it's exciting. It's exciting. We'll get it done. We'll get as much profit as we can going. And hopefully this city stays a farm town. Welcome back to Last Chance Episode 3. It's uh, finally time to get some seed in the ground for us at our farm. But before that, we're going to go meet up with everybody else and see how everyone else is doing. And uh, yeah, uh, don't mind the driving. A little crazy this morning. Hello. Hello. Oh, he almost got ran over. I almost got ran over? Yeah. Nah. See, that's just bro uh, brothers trusting brothers. He knows I won't hit him yet. You better watch it there. You're more likely to hit me on purpose or accident than I am to hit you on purpose or accident. This place sounds like it's on fire. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Is it on fire? Or is that just um, their back cooking? This is the most broke McDonald's I've ever seen. You see the seats in here? Oh, my uh, gosh. Where's they, the they kitchen? Even... Yeah, like... What's going on here? We sure we want to eat here this morning? How the heck are we supposed to eat here with no kitchen? Uh, I'm assuming it's in the back where we can't see, but... Huh. Um, who picked this spot? They even have a drive through Not that oh. I see. Oh, man. No wonder our town's going down. Where is all the tax money going that we are supposed to be uh, raising for this town? I think to that building over here. What is that down there? What in the world? That's a big building. What is that supposed to be? It's probably the Dollar General. That's Dollar General? <laughs> it's like a... Golly. Oh, it's a hotel. I was about to say, that was Dollar General. Golly, they upgraded. Ah, uh, Dollar mean, General is a little farther. Yep, I see it down there. Well, we sure we don't just like want to come over here to Patterson Sandwich Gold Mine? That does sound better. Oh, I need to go to this bank right here. I need money. Don't tell me you're already getting loans. Uh, yeah, you know, so, oh, so you weren't there. So one of the families in town was selling their land to the developers. They caved. Oh, no. So I, no. I bought it. I bought it at market value, and now I'm broke because I don't want I don't want a neighborhood there. Yep, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, so you oh. look you look at your little uh, your little tablet. It's uh, Field 49. That was going to be a, a subdivision. Well, good thing you bought it then. Yeah. I, I wasn't about to deal with that. Now hey, guys, what's going on? Hey, Happy. Are we sure we want to eat at McDonald's? Because have you seen their inside? No, I have not. Let me go look at it. Yeah, it's not too good. And it sounds like it's on fire. That that looks a little concerning to me. Yeah. Um, Phyllis? Oh, hi. Yep. 
Hey, hey what's going on? What's happening, Swifty? What's up, guys? Um, nothing. We're trying to figure out if we want to eat here or not, because McDonald's kind of sounds like it's on fire. Oh. It's, it sounds oh. like it's on fire, and oh, it does not look like it's up to code in here. Like, I don't even see a menu in here. I don't think it's finished. Yeah. I don't. I, I think it's under construction still. Um, so, guys think we should go then. Should we just go to the sandwich place that's right down a uh, little ways? We yeah, could just Patterson go to the Golden Crest right Arcade. Here. I mean, what? I mean, I'm okay with everything at least if, if, if my truck with um, I have a little problem with my truck. I'll what's going on with your here. truck? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Uh, I'll pop the hood here and show you guys. Oh, it's a Ram. I know yeah, the I know your problem. That that's makes why. Sense. If you had a nice bow tie on there, it'd be no, fine. Really? No, hey. hey, who did that? That was <laughs> that was Chris. Yeah, what's going on with your truck? Leaking coolant for some reason. I hit something on the way here. You um, hit. Okay, that's your problem. You hit something. What'd yeah, you, and did you happen to hit Nate? That would be a uh, very beneficial. <laughs> no. Sadly, no. we need Nate. Ah, I know. Also, it looks like your turbo is a little loose here. Is it really? Oh no. So, uh, I, to, I, to, I would uh, I would suggest going to your local uh, truck dealership and getting you a nice bow tie. I hear they never break down, so. Uh, bow tie. Hmm. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Just get I rid of this in general. Yeah. yeah. I'd well, even take a Ford over this piece that. of crap. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, but yeah. it's kind of better than that one Pontiac. Yes. That's true. Oh, better than Pontiac. Of which, I agree. I agree. That Pontiac ain't here. Yeah. Thank goodness. We don't need him over here. He probably crashed into the river, I bet. No, I heard they're he a little behind. Did. They're a little behind on farm work, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if they skipped breakfast with us this morning. Gotcha. gotcha Wait, gotcha. where's Nate and Yosho? Yeah. yeah, where are they? They're probably still sleeping. You know how they are. And it's true. We are here at 540 in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Dang part-time farmers. I got five I fields know, right? to plant, so I mean. Yeah, I got I got a field to, I got one field to plant at least too. We got um, two. We got two. Two, and I got a lot of spring to do too. Imagine having there. fields to plant. I mean, I have a farm ham taking care of some cultivating for me right now, so it's good. It's all good. That's nice. My crops just regrow every year, so. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's how trees work, with apples on yeah. them. Yeah. Uh -huh. how, how is your uh, apple production looking this year happy oh it's looking great yeah i got a lot of apples if you want to stop by i've got tons you can buy i'm making some apple pie later getting some apple cider going <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, i'd be fun. interested in some apple cider remember i got that first pre-order uh, yep i'll be fun. delivering that would later you, today would you take some grass bales i don't need any grass bales Darn it. but i could make some for you no we have some we had i was gonna say if you would Take some grass bales for some apples. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. I don't have any use for grass bales. Sorry, Pretty but strange. I take that green stuff. That's cash. That's idea. Uh, guys, we might want to watch oh. out. Nate's coming. Oh crap! Holy oh, crap! Here crap. Comes All right, Run. So every, yeah, everybody, boy. hide behind the big blue dodge. Yep. All right. All right. All right. Wait, wait. Where's Yosho? Yosho? I never seen Yosho with him. He's probably making wait. him work. Wait, did probably. he crash? <laughs> hey, who's up underneath the hood of my truck? I was just taking a peek. I was seeing sure if it was is. the same as that that ram over there, and seeing if your turbo was loose too. Oh no, everything's high and tight on this. I keep up on my servers and everything. See, this guy knows how to choose a truck here. It's it's not a Dodge or a Ford. It's a good old Chevy. Good old oh Ford time. yeah, really? oh, this is beautiful. This know, is beautiful. Right? Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, I wish you didn't buy that yet. You think they have one that matches my shirt? Uh, they might. Oh. Ooh, I like the shirt, by the way. Yeah, isn't that nice? Yosho? What? Those are getting hey, what's up? Out. Oh my gosh. Impressive for me to see you here. I know. Crazy, isn't it? I get around a little bit. Of course you do. How do you guys know each other? Oh, um... We go way back. Way yeah, back. We do. Yeah, we do. <laughs> so Wednesday? Yeah. All the way to Wednesday? No, wait a minute. Are we telling our secrets? Come on now. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna tell you why. <laughs> well, actually, I actually used to. Dream. We used to drive trucks together, you know. So it was one of those, you know, had the team driving thing going on. I mean, he always snored in the back, but hey. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute! I what? don't think so what? about that. I don't. I don't think so about that. You're the one who snored. Well, maybe we both snored. We just didn't know it. 
Oh, yeah, when you guys were I, spooning? I, Who's the big spoon? Hey, hey, hey watch it, watch it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What, what happens on the road stays on the road. I get it. <laughs> of course, of course he, has less, he has less Trevor tickets than I do. So, yeah. Well, well, Nate, like Nate finally decided to show up. Yeah, Nate's finally here. getting here. I, I know before I did, too. Did, did you I sleep in or something, something, or what? I had to stop and get something, okay? Oh, uh, of course you did. Hey, hey, Nate, we got a problem. What? Mc, McDonald's here is still under construction. And they're not done yet. And it You're sounds like it's on the window. Fire. Yeah, why'd you choose McDonald's? drive through still working. What drive through drive through drive -thru drive -thru? still working. <laughs> I don't see a drive through There ain't no drive through I don't hear. Nate, you, this is the last time we let you pick a place. The only thing here is this Pepsi and Coke machine. All right, grab you a Pepsi and Coke, then. All right. I'm you got money for me? I'm to go to Casey's. I'm going to the sandwich place that's right down the road. Yeah, I'm heading over to Patterson's real quick. I guess I'm just going to follow everybody else. Yeah. Where are we eating at? Right the here. The tanning salon. The tanning salon? Yep. Right here. Oh, right here. Oh, here. I dislike you all. Oh, wait, there's Why? one. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, the only parking spots that are left are handicapped. Hey, I use one. There's nothing wrong old. with that. I'm old. Wow. You're old, Chris? Wow. Wow. It, it depends on what you mean by old. Listen. <laughs> Listen. I remember I remember in real life watching that guy on your t-shirt. on your t -shirt. Uh, Which guy is that? Dale Earnhardt. Chris. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Chris. I was actually working at Walmart whenever, uh, you know what? You know what? You were looking at the wrong person, Chris. Look at that pry. I know, but I was what it was talking. <laughs> anyway, oh, well. what? Yep, I'm going in. I'm getting me a sandwich. Fry said yep. something. Breakfast on me this morning, y'all. Oh. Oh, no, sweet. No. Okay. I'll order the most expensive we're thing. The whole it. menu. <laughs> no, we're ordering the whole menu. Why? Times two. All right. Thanks, Alex, for the meal. I'm sorry your bill was a thousand dollars, but it is what it is when you when you offer to pay. Alex. Hopefully, you can uh, fork out that money. Hey guys. Yep. Not a problem. Do you think I was in the tanning booth too long? Yes. A little bit. Uh, uh, a little, a little bit. bit. I am so good. Hey, out hey, here. you did add that to their bill, right? So oh, what we bill? Didn't offer to pay. To the, oh, yeah, yeah. No, the, I had tanning for breakfast. That's what I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Chris, what do you got planned today? Uh, Four fields. Lots of, lots of beans going in the ground today. Ooh, okay. Well, if you need help, with that, then just let us know because we got our two fields still we got to plant. So yeah, I'm sure most of my day is going to be on that field right by uh, Happy's Orchard. So that's where you can find me if you're looking for me. Alrighty, well, if you do need help, you can contact us. Yeah, don't worry. I remember I owe you a favor. I'll repay it. Alrighty, have a good one then. All right, see you guys. Say, don't forget you owe me one as well. For what? Uh, village. Oh, and hey, you know what? Oh, I do. You might as well just go ahead and owe me one, too. You know, I might as well just jump in here while we're at it. Oh. Yeah, and you owe me one, too. <laughs> but right. if worse comes worse, if you need extra help, I can do the anhydrous myself and yeah, send yep. Bri your way. Is he just and or, yep, he just, or you just pull just away from me. Oh. <laughs> and he know, just right? lives. Hey, Chris. Yeah. Am I not turtle enough for the turtle club? Uh, I mean, maybe. <laughs> so... Chris and Alex have so far. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I hit the red light. I wasn't I saw, looking. <laughs> I saw lots. <laughs> I got the perfect view of that. How is this possible? Yes. Someone help. Okay, Al <laughs> oh, you be riding, you huh? I was going to say, you can't do nothing until that red light changes now. Oh. So sometimes you come up with wise ideas like saving the community and buying land and going into debt and forgetting that you haven't done any of your farm work for the season. So that's going to cause us to, we're going to be very busy. We're not going to get any sleep. We're going to have to get some food delivered possibly. Maybe I'll hit up Happy or Bride to bring me some burgers or something for lunch. I might have to beg a couple of them to help me. We're going to get this field cultivated, finish getting that done. And then we got to hop in. Grab the planter, get some seed in the ground, and we're going to start with this big field first because it's going to be the most profitable one. It makes sense to do it first. Man, it's going to be a busy day. I don't think I can actually pull the cedar, but while I, I got some help doing the cultivating, we're going to we're gonna hook up to it and move it over to our seed station and, and get some seed in it, get it all prepped and ready. And then once we're ready to go, 
we'll be able to bring the case back over here and operate it. So we'll just back up. We'll get this hooked up. Apples are not accepted here. Should be able to, yeah, get, pull it fine. So that's good. Yeah, we'll get it prepped. We'll get it all full of seed. We need a trailer. We need a lot of things. And we're broke. It's going to be rough. All right, let's get some seed out here. All right, we're losing time. I'm going to finish this up myself. It's nice to have some help, but we're going to bust it out. We'll get it done. Get to where we can do some planting. Aye, aye, aye. This field is huge. Why did we buy it? Hello. Hey, Chris. What's up? Hey, are you still needing help planting? I mean, I haven't even got to it yet. I'm still cultivating. Are you really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That new field, well, uh, I didn't realize it was um, as big as a state. So it's gonna take me a little bit. Uh-oh. Well, um, let me check mine cultivator real quick. And if it's big enough, you want some help with that? Well, I mean, I would rather have help planting because I'll probably be done with this in like 15 minutes. Um, but then I got four fields. So if you're willing to help, that would probably be better. Yep, if you need it, man, I'll come and help because right now uh, we're waiting on some contractors to come out and Alex is going to go talk to Nate about his Hydra trailer. Yeah, and, yeah, and Hydras, yep. Yep, and he's going to do the last two fields with that before I start planting on them oh okay um i do have a smaller field that might be best if you're are, are strapped for time and are just looking for some busy work yep yeah come on uh, meet me uh by that new field and i'll uh, show you what what i'm doing and what i'm planting there all righty i'm on my way then exciting thank you Hey, Chris, what's going on? What's happening, Happy? I came to drop off your free batch of apple cider. Oh, free? Yeah, I'm giving everyone one free uh, pallet of apple cider. Oh, here. I was going to say, I hope all these aren't for me. I'm not having that big of a party. <laughs> no, no, you get one pallet. Okay, so like this one right here? Oh. Yep, that one right there. Oh, it's kind of heavy. Oh. It is kind of heavy. Whew. Oh, my wife's going to be so yeah. happy. Yeah, there's a ton of apple cider in there. Uh, Brian, do you want me to drop your free pallet off at your farm, or do uh, you want it now? Uh, drop it off at the farm. I appreciate that. All right. I will do that, then. All righty. Alex should be there. If not, just uh, pull in and drop it. All right. Sounds good. So I, I take it you got all kinds of stuff you're giving away for free. You got to have a lot you're selling, too, right? Oh, yeah. We got a lot over there. Kind of sending out this first batch, just to make sure it's all tasting all right. We don't want to send out any bad product. Wait, so, wait, wait, uh, wait. I'd love to get your guys' feedback. Have you tested it yet? I have tested it. I think it tastes pretty good, but uh, all right, I want to get see what everyone else thinks before uh, I you, sell it. And you can get sick or anything? I No, I did not get sick. You, you're going to be fine. Hey, you guys have, like... Are you part of the Dale Earnhardt fan club? I oh, mean, Dale Earnhardt. Yeah, he's one of my favorite drivers, so... Oh, there's I've nothing. Gotta, gotta there's nothing. Merch. I just... I need to get me a shirt like that. You do? Yeah. yeah. They're pretty cool. They really are. Awesome. All right, I got to get back to work. Yeah, I'll let you guys get back to work. I'm going to head over and uh, distribute the rest of this stuff. So I'll catch you guys later. Thanks, Abby. Alrighty. Have a good one. Yeah, no problem. All right, Bri. You too. I'll show you where the field is. Try Alrighty. not to run you over first, though. <laughs> hey. That's the field? Yep, this is it right here. Wow. Yeah. When was the last time anything happened with this field? Well, it was neglected last year. Definitely seems like it. Yep, so hopefully that cultivator does the job and gets it prepped for me to plant it later. Um, yeah, it it's should. pretty sad. This is a lot of lost money right here. Yep, too bad you didn't get this before. Yeah, I know. It's pretty sad. It's uh, It'll be better, though. We're going to make a huge profit this year. All righty. Well, <sighs> I'll get to work and... I'll let you do what you ever use doing. Yep, I'll just be right over here on the field behind you. Okay. Thank you so much. No problem. Well, this planter is brand new to me. 
It'll be my first time using it. I'm super excited to give it a try. And it seems we're a little wobbly here. There we go. It seems like a pretty good width for what we're working on. And it seems like we can move pretty fast with it as well once we, once we get the hang of it here. We'll get GPS all set up and make sure we're not going any faster than this implement actually recommends, which is 14 miles an hour. So let's go ahead and get GPS all prepped for that. Our cruise control. And we should be set. And we're going to do this first one here. Put beans in the ground. Bryce helping cultivate what's going to be a cornfield. So we're going to be busy. And hoping between the four fields that we get close to knocking into that debt. And didn't really go over it very much. But the $50,000 or the $500,000 is going to be for 20 years. So we have a, it's a smallish payment. It's not too bad. It's like three grand a month. Um, so we'll have to keep that in mind over time and make sure that we're not you know going negative and and losing all of our money so but that's enough yapping let's get this done being that this is a new field to me like i know the other field that bryce helping with the path the paths that i take this one we're gonna have to learn there's some awkward areas that i just got to figure out what the best route to go to plant to be more efficient because again we got a lot to do so we don't want to be wasting time and it would have been wise to maybe pull the trailer with the truck out here and seed so we don't have to go all the way back to the farm. But long term, I might look at putting a, a little road from back here to help us get to this part of the field quicker. You know, the, the farm's just to the right. So, yeah, we'll get that done. And possibly, yeah, that might be pretty good. Now that I think of it, that would be really sweet just to get a nice road back here for quicker access. Because that, that route's a little long and it would be nice to just whip around through these this forest have a nice path maybe a little like trail too for just getting away and, and, and having some nice recreational time it's yeah, stuff to think about think about a weird a lot of weird things while you're while you're planting by yourself All right, well, we got the big field done. Blake is helping plant the corn field, which is nice. We'll have to go check that in a little bit. So we're going to plant our two smaller fields with some more soybeans. And there's a little development with the oat production. And we didn't get oats planted in time this year. But I was also talking to someone who's going to potentially buy that from us. Kind of thinking through with this debt and everything going on. Oh, turned too fast there. And I think it might be best to kind of limit our focus to farming and not any type of production buildings like that for a little bit. Got a lot of debt to focus on where that would have helped, but the fact that we didn't get oats in the ground, I think I am gonna listen to this guy that potentially wants to buy it from us. So we'll see. And then we're gonna have to figure something out. I might have to just buy some seed from somebody else because those chickens are coming soon that we ordered and I don't, I don't have a field to, to feed them with. So yeah, that might 
that might be a thing. But yeah, we'll get this done and the one next to us, and then we're done with planting season. Exciting. Where's your uh, pressure washer? I don't have one of those yet. I'm broke. This is a broke farm. <laughs> you drive it? You actually drive it. It's, oh my gosh, it's like a gaming chair. I feel like Dr. Evil. My gosh. Yeah. All right, let me, uh, let me see. Oh, oh. All right, let me see how, okay, so we got forward. All right, reverse working okay. Oh, wait, we had a little bit of a stutter, but okay, so that's working good. We're shifting through the gears, okay, yep. All right, seems like it steers okay. All right, so it just sounds like the turbo is the only issue with it. Yeah, that's what I told you. All right, so yeah, I'll, I'll give you uh, 70000 for it. That's a fair deal to me. I'll take it. All right, sounds good. I try to be fair. You know how it is. I bet you do. I do. I do. What? I would never take money from you. <laughs> that was a good joke. Um, I love how we're getting a little audience over there. What in the world are they doing? I don't know. What are you doing? We want to know if you're interested in the gaming chair races we're doing later. Yeah. Gaming yeah. chair races. <laughs> yep. Chair races? Yep. Yeah, yep. I have to be in on that. It's kind of hard to steer, but it's it's kind of, <laughs> <Yeah>. you know. <laughs> 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 that actually looks terrible. <laughs> you look very uncomfortable. I'm concentrating. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things around here. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh! oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Jousting? <laughs> uh, look, look, look. Oh, um, that does not look. We're just watching, oh, we're watching the show. Chairs. <laughs> gaming chairs. Gaming chairs. We came to watch. Wow. So, Chris, I'm guessing you're all wrapped up then? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was fast. Yeah, Blake uh, uh, did one of the fields, and then uh, I have a huge planter, so. I, I figured that. <laughs> hey, hey, Chris, you want to bring that huge planter over? Yeah. Is it for this field right here? Playing chicken or what? Uh, for uh, 29. Well, Wait I was going to say, come over here where I'm at. Yeah, 29, and hell with the corn. I can do that. It's going to take me a while to get back with my chair, though. <laughs> uh, it only goes three miles an hour. The blind <laughs> chicken. <laughs> hey, uh. Well, Chris, we're finally wrapping up. Yeah, that went by a lot faster than I thought it would. Told you it would with your big old planter. Yeah, it's not that much bigger than yours. No, but it helps a lot. Right, size doesn't matter. Come on. That's not... Mm, never mind. <laughs>
Hey, Brian, do you know if Nate still needed help? Uh, you might give him a call and ask him. I don't know. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna swing by one of his fields. I think I probably find him. Alrighty. I don't like using the phone. I'm an old man. Wait a minute, is that Blake? Yeah, there's Blake. Oh, Blake be happy, wow. Uh, so we all agree that Happy has to bring the drinks now since he is the last one, right? I thought he was bringing the spiked cider. I was about to say, he was bringing the cider no matter what, but my bet was is he has to he has to pay for our first rounds. Fair enough. Right? He has to pay for our first yeah. round of poker? Sounds good to me. Yeah. Yep. So how was y'all's day? What did y'all do? Plant. 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 Yep. Plant. And hydras. A little cultivation, too. Yeah, so, a little bit of that. So I don't know how to tell y'all this, but I only got three fields planted in total today. How many you got total? Yeah. <laughs> Way more than three. Oh, well, we got Daryl working on our last field, so. Daryl, yeah. huh? Yeah, I don't know how to. Alex said Daryl's a good one, so. Isn't that, that, isn't that that kid you used to go to high school with, Chris? Yes. Oh. We don't talk about Daryl. Oh, we do talk about Daryl, though. Well, I'm but saying, I would, you, you need to check every little bit about your tractor. And to be honest with you, you're going to be lucky if it's there when you get back. Alex, why did you tell me to hire Daryl? I thought you did the background check one. That was your job. No, that was your job. You're in charge of hiring help. <laughs> you, but you're the one that told me to hire him. Oh, I said great. to hire him as long as he passed the background check. What do you? What is he planting for you guys? Sorghum. You still went through that sorghum. Hold on. You still went through that sorghum planting after I told you that information? It's yep. already. It was already too late. Yeah. So, so y'all want to hear the fun thing? Just, just a fun little note. This man over there thought you could plant sorghum two times in one year. When you harvest some sorghum in the summer, then you could turn right back around and plant wheat. Yep. Yep. So go ahead and just turn around and plant wheat because I'll buy the hay off you. Okay. There he is. Finally. All right. I got the apple cider. There you go. Where's my chair? There it is. Uh, yeah. Hey, just so long. I was working still. I had to get a semi loaded up to sell for tomorrow. You're selling tomorrow? Yeah. I'm only apples, not apple cider, but. You don't know how, how profitable your business is tomorrow, huh? Oh, yeah. Hopefully we get a good dollar amount, but uh, we'll see. So you That's have it just cool. sitting in that reefer I saw when I went by? Yeah, it is. It's all locked up. Yeah, sure. Yep. When we go by here, if you want some apples, yeah, I knew. Yeah, I knew <laughs> yeah, right. you're gonna That's say good. that. Don't worry, Daryl probably have already stolen them. So probably. Yeah. Let's get this game. Well, rolling. hold up before we get started. So I got a question for all y'all. All of y'all, most of y'all have already done all y'all's work for right now, right? Got some time off. Pretty much. Not me. Mm, not really, because we still have hay or at least silage to make. That's pretty much it. There yeah. is no stopping with apples. I'm sorry. That's your own fault over there. I ain't worried about you. <laughs> wow. Don't worry. I'm still betting your money tonight, so I'm not too worried. Um, hey, 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 hey. No, we're not. Well, that's how we are. But that's what I was saying. So for the ones that don't have anything to do, would y'all mind coming out and helping me Yosho tomorrow? Because we have way too many fields left to do and way too short of time to do them because we got started late. You got a sprayer? Yeah, I do. I borrow that sprayer. How about I do you one better? I have an old sprayer that I'm fixing up. I just I trade you the sprayer for it. All right. For finishing helping out the entire fields. That's a deal. So, yeah. So who's all in? Let's do it. Let's do it. Right, I'm sounds in. Good. Do it. Oh wait, I'm already in. My bad. I'm about to say you're forced. To... All right. So let's uh someone get the chips out and remember we're co we're converting. Happy's money. So, Happy, how much money you got in the bank? Uh, I didn't bring any money with me, so. Don't worry. We all take checks. Don't worry. Yep. Um, let's see. My bank account has $10,000 <laughs> in it right now, so I don't have much, to be honest. And I've got a $100,000 loan, so. So, 1000 each leads in nothing. with a little bit of money. I think that's fine. Yep. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. yeah $1,000 yeah, a piece. Fine. Yeah. No, no, You're no. no. 1500 a piece. 
Okay. Yeah, you're funny. I'm gonna take my apple cider and kind of walk here. Don't worry. We'll, oh, we'll wait, 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 wait. Before you do, I'll, I'll take a drink. <laughs> all right. Nah. <laughs> I'm just gonna all right, all right, all right. all right, everybody, get in here. Use your own money. Welcome back to Last Chance. This is our building that we own, and I'm really debating because I was talking to the uncle, and he was saying that he was making a ton of money off of it. So really thinking through what we want to do. The offer was $100,000 for this building and to take over the business. And it's not costing me too much to run it uh, since we're not really running it. It's just shut down right now, but it'll be another year before we even have a chance to get some oats unless I find a, someone to buy them from. So we're just kind of thinking through that. Not making a decision yet. Kind of thinking through what we want to do. Do we want to be a cereal? producer make some oatmeal got a nice truck here i wonder if this is ours yeah it's my first time being here too and it looks like plenty of room to store oats and corn uh, raisins would be something we'd need to buy we're making honey we'll see potentially we'll have to get some raisins imported and that'll be that'll be it we might look into purchasing some oats too as well this year but i'm not sure but let's go ahead and get out of here make sure the gates are locked just wanted to kind of show you the business you know, I talked about last episode that we might be selling it and wanted to just kind of clear that up. I think I can get out here and shut it before hit the button. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Time to head back to the farm. We've got a little extra time on our hands this summer, so we got all the planting done. But we have this large field that we own that I think we're going to need to cut it just like we did the other one. I'm not sure yet. If I want to make this a new field, I'm, I'm potentially going to make this a new field next year, but we might just cut the grass in it for the next year or so. And we will have to borrow some equipment again to get this all bailed up. I'm thinking potentially about getting a silage pit because I think that might be the easier route for us. There's so much we need to buy and we probably need to get a semi and a truck because we're, we've got some large fields. So I'm, I'm, I figure cutting this grass, turning it into some silage, getting some extra cash over the next few months is probably the best option we have, especially since we don't have oats to start making some oatmeal because that I was hoping that was going to be a nice income for us, but that's not going to happen. So I think we'll go to right here for now, even though we could go farther. But this should be a good start and then potentially we could get this into silage and then while we're still waiting for other things we could cut the rest there and start kind of rotating when we're cutting this field and constantly make money we got a huge debt five hundred thousand dollars we're going to want to make more money become more profitable make sure we can you know then buy equipment because we need more equipment this alice chalmers i love it but I would like an upgrade and something bigger, maybe a wider mower as well. The brush hog's doing good here, but yeah, if we're gonna cut this that often, we're gonna need better equipment and you can see how we're missing some too. So we might get a skid steer out here and level some of this as well. I think that would be good for us, but yeah, get going with this and I'll chat with y'all later. Well, I'm looking at the new town here and we got an auto zone. We got a Taco Bell back there, a PNC bank, a Ford dealership. Looks like some restaurants here. City hall or courthouse. Wanted to come in here real quick, get some snacks for later. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'll take a couple things of cheese. Yep, yep. All right, thank you very much. All right, so that'll do. What's going on there? It's a nice, interesting design that they decided there. No way I'm fitting in any of these spots. That's just silly. Oh, an Applebee's. All right, Dollar General down there. Go ahead and head over to Taco Bell. Where's Chris? Uh, what, what do you need me for? You're supposed to be coming with me to help me plant today. Oh, uh, okay. So I need to I need to go get my planter. What are we planting? Uh, one field of corn and the rest soybeans. I'll meet you at your farm. Nate, you on the CB? Yep. You got seed over there? Plenty. All right. On my way. Who has who did I uh, who has corn seed? I think I do. I do. So me and you will go plant 35, I mean 34. You two, Hazard and Chris. Okay. Y'all need to head up to 17, plant 17 and 19. 17 and 19, all right. You have to drive through Phillips 19 to get to 17. Oh. 
I need to build a bridge, but just drive on the edges of 17, I mean, 19 to get to 17. Well, we'll plant, if we plant 17 first, that'd probably be the, the safest bet. Then we just work our way back, right? Exactly. All right. So y'all go ahead and do that. I'm gonna let y'all two do that. Hazard, plant beans over there. Follow Chris. All right, I'm heading out. Was an exciting day of planting helping out nate there and i believe we have some type of a deal to get a spreader from him so i'll have to chat with him later about that probably when we're playing poker later but next i gotta work on rowing this up so i know happy's out of town i'm gonna head over there i'm gonna borrow his rake i talked to him about that already so we'll grab the alice chalmers we'll head over there grab the rake start raking up the grass. We're going to leave this out because I want to remember that I need to do some maintenance on it. What is Happy got going on over here? Oh, is that his loading ramp? Oh, I see. Well, it is July and a lot's happened, but we got to sell the silage because we need some money because we need a sprayer. Our weeds are growing in two of our fields. The new fields that we just plowed, you know, we plowed it up so the weeds aren't growing in enough for us to really worry about. That'll be a next year problem. But we still need a sprayer. We need a semi. We need a. We need all the things still. So we're heading over to sell the, the silage. You know, we we've been lucky enough to be able to borrow equipment to get this silage all prepped. So, but I think we need to start buying our own. And yeah, I think we might swing by the dealership here and get some equipment to take home with us after selling this. But we got a lot to keep in mind. Grain cart we still need to help us with harvesting and that sprayer. So we'll see. We got a couple loads to do though. Yep, we should be able to just come right up here and they'll unload it for us and let us know what kind of money we get. All right, after that fun sales, we are sitting at $70,000. So we will go get the other half and do it again. So we're over here at the dealership after doing our second load. We're gonna have to leave this here potentially. We might be able to load it on there. We'll see what happens. 
but we're gonna go talk to them. We got $95,000 now. Made about 50 grand selling that silage and we have more over there that we've already raked up that's not quite fermented yet. So we'll get those in a few months. We might wait on that till the price is right. But like I said, we need money. So we got to figure out some things, trying to avoid not taking another loan, but let's talk to them. So we're going to go with the John Deere R732i power spray. But now we're down to 41,000. We need to look at carts soon. Gosh, something like that would be nice, but we'll figure that out when the time comes. Let's go ahead in the back and get this all set up. All right, we will get this home. They were able to load it up there for us, but we just gotta be careful that we don't uh, tip it on the way back. Should be okay. Nice piece of equipment. We got it all set up finally. We got some cleaning up to do on around the farm, but you can see this field here, we've been cutting multiple times over the spring and summer here. And the herbicide tank here, the sprayer, was filled with herbicide for us as part of the deal. So I don't know how long or how far this is gonna go. I imagine we're gonna need to get a few more pallets. So I do wanna start with the corn field. Let's go over there and see how that one's looking. Yep, definitely needs sprayed. Let's go ahead and open this up. And I think we'll just start here. We should be good, hopefully. We don't damage any of these crops. All right, let's get it sprayed. All right, well, the first field's done. There's a couple spots we missed, but you know, those aren't even in the field though. Look at that, dead weeds. Looking good, the corn's coming in nice. All right, let's go ahead and get back in the John Deere here and do the other fields. It's the only other two we need to do are these two soybean fields. So we'll get started on that and might as well take a look at how much product we have left. Used about half, so we are gonna need some more because these are huge fields. Twelve fifty is what it cost us to fill this bad boy back up. We got one more field to do here. And it could have been done with the same field, but we decided to do them separately. But this one should be a little bit quicker. It's not as big as the one we just did. But after this, our crops are ready to just let them grow until harvest time, which is exciting. I'm I just... We might have to take out another loan to get enough equipment to help us with harvest, but... Other than that, I'm feeling pretty optimistic about the profit we're gonna make this year. Got a lot of silage to sell still. Probably get one more cut out of that field as well this year. Yeah, lots of soybeans, lots of corn. That'd be a good one. Yeah, that's gonna conclude weed control for the year. Very nice, the fields are looking great. They're in good shape. Couldn't ask for a better implement here. We'll get that upgrade once we can afford it. That'll save us even more money. Be better on the environment as well if we're only spraying exactly where weeds are. We don't have to worry about losing a little bit of yield and damaging these crops with this product. And really, we don't want to get as much herbicide on our products as well. But it is what it is. I think there's a couple spots that I missed over in the cornfield that I looked at my data and saw. So I'm going to go back and look for those. But other than that, we're done spraying. Welcome back to Last Chance. This episode, we are gonna solve our issue with our lack of oats. We're heading out to another field out here that we are going to help a farmer with harvesting, and we're gonna get some oats in the process. And I think that is a smart, wise way for us to make some money at the production and get it up and running, because it's just wasting money at this point. So I'm gonna get my equipment over there, get it all prepped, and we'll get to harvesting that. The other thing we want to do is cut the grass field again since it is now August and that grass has grown back and get some more bales wrapped up so we can get a little more silage going. We need all the money we can get. Got to get rid of this debt and uh, the fields are looking good. They're, they're growing nice. Everything's prepped in those. Just got to wait for them to grow and be ready to harvest. Nice seeing all of these fields coming in. Lots of soybeans in town. It's like we know that that's the most profitable 
crop or something. Yeah, corn and soybeans grow really good in this town. Man, this is a ways out here. Should be just around this turn, though. Yep, here it is. All right, let's let's uh, let's get set up. Oh, I think we'll go out towards the road here. This looks like a good place here. We'll get the harvester over and go from there. Those aren't oats. This isn't the right field. Let's keep driving. I think we found it. I think this is the field. Yeah, look at this interesting hidden field entrance here. I'm going to... Oh, don't want to damage any crops. Let's get out and look around. There might be a different area to enter the field. We got to find that out. Yeah, I'm not sure, but we're going to start here. Josiah's going to send us over some equipment to help, and we'll get that going very soon. So what's really nice about this is we don't have to use our own equipment, put extra hours on it. We are going to use Josiah's equipment here. So we'll just get this header hooked up and get going. All right, and wish us luck. This is a huge, huge combine bigger than ours should hold a lot so look at that go 104 bushels is it 704 bushels per acre it's gonna be a huge help not sure exactly how much of this we're gonna end up getting but any amounts really gonna help us get up and, and running so we're 80 percent full just got the beep warning there we're not gonna make it all the way around so this, this is a huge field so we'll have to get the truck over here to unload, and uh, yeah, this is going to take a while. Might have bit off more than we can chew for, for August. We'll see. The first load here, we're going to go run over to get the truck and fill it on up. Now, it'll be interesting to see how many loads we can get in this truck. My thought is it's probably going to be just two. We'll see. A lot of bushels. So we'll get about two and a half. Not bad. Leave the truck here for now. Get back in the harvester, and we're going to keep plugging away. Oh joy. We'll go right here and just open up the field a little bit and start going back and forth. We got that headland done. I'm trying to figure out the right path on this field and it seems like it's a big one. So we're just gonna make our own. Might not be the most efficient way, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Looks like we've done six acres already, pretty quick. I believe it's around 30 total, so shouldn't be too bad. Halfway on this load. Let's see if we can sneak up in here. Might not have put the harvester at the best place, but should be able to pull this off. There we go. Fill up this front hopper first, and then we'll pull forward. Eh, we'll take it. We're going to finish up this little corner of the field, and then we'll get back to the bigger part. I think that was a good idea just to kind of clean this area up. Go ahead and leave the truck there, though. 11% left. 8.7 acres done so far. And onwards we go. Not the best route for a semi, but we're going to take this first load over to the cereal factory and get it dropped off. Yep, not... Not the correct route. Right, let's go get the gates open. It was a long drive. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Dropping off the first load. Very good. So this should do it for truck load number two. We'll go ahead and get this unloaded and head on back to the factory. Another 1155 bushels heading over to the factory. Here we go. So that'll be 22, 2300 bushels so far. 2310. We're keeping track. We know we're going to sell a certain amount for him and then we're going to keep a certain amount for our production. We'll get that all sorted out at the end. All done. Let's just get this all full in the truck and we'll take it in and we'll see how much we get left over to make some oatmeal. All right, unload this and the back and we'll go talk to our production manager here. See what we got left over and get the production running. So we made 14,000 on that, but let's see what we can do for the production as well. We have 156 bushels. And we need to get we need to get some honey over here next. And then we start making oatmeal. All right, back at the farm, we're gonna go ahead and cut the yard here again. We do need to plow this. I wanna plow it pretty soon because we wanna get oats in this area. We definitely don't wanna do again what we just did. So getting this turned into a field so that we can plant oats here in the next few months is definitely the plan. Well, in March, it'll be the plan to go ahead and plant oats here. But that's, that's where we want to get to. And potentially, maybe we do one of the other fields for oats and plant some feed for chickens here, which would be next month. But we'll focus on this, get it all cut up, figure out what we're going to do for a rower here, and go from there. Next, we need to figure out how we're going to row it. And we need to get our own baler. My goodness. Borrowing equipment is getting kind of old. It's going to get these tractors all cleaned up. Time to spray them down. There he is. What was that? Oh. Oh, no. How's it going, Chris? Been a few days. Good, Nate. What's happening? What's what's going on? 
I'm gonna drop off. Uh, get well, get get you the sprayer that you want. Oh uh, no! You want to talk about it? I. Do you know if the dealership has a return policy? Don't know. That'd be a question for the dealership, not me. Oh. <laughs> you you want to talk about this over here? Yeah, I. I totally forgot. Also, you forgot. I'm taking it back with me. I mean, I'll no, no, no. I, I that's pretty cool. Oh, <gasps> you ride in it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a high boy. Now here's the fun part is if you want it, you got to figure out how to unload it without wrecking it. Because I had to use a skid steer to load it up here. You can't just drive it off. No, it doesn't fit. You, you, there's a reason it's sitting at an angle. Um. Oh, maybe is that Alex? Maybe Alex could help because I don't I don't have any forks or anything. You want nothing right here to forks. So, so, you know, I had a rough year last year. I got rid of a lot of my equipment to just break even last year. So that's why I'm beating myself up over this stupid purchase that I shouldn't have made. Well, here's the good part. I mean, I'm taking a guess that has a spot spray on it. It does. This doesn't. You would have wasted more chemicals with this. Uh, what did I walk into? He bought himself a new sprayer instead of remembering that I'm supposed to get let him have this sprayer behind me. He went and bought himself a probably about a 30 grand sprayer if I take a guess. 50. 50 grand? Ouch. Yeah, because of this, the, well, I mean, to start it's cheaper, but when you add the extra features to it for the sea and spray, it, you know, that, that costs a little more. This man sat here and just said he spent 50 grand on that. You would have spent less money just letting, waiting for me to come over here with this sprayer. I. That's why I'm beating myself up. I'm telling you, I'm stupid, and that's why I'm a failure. Oh, this farm's a failure. Um, well, I guess I could, I could try to resell it if they won't take it back and get some money. Cause, I, you know what, I could no, use. No, they'll probably, you, they'll probably take it back, but they'll probably take it back at a discount. Cause, you know, that old-fashioned saying, once you take it out a lot, there goes ten grand. Yeah, I mean, it would probably be enough to get a windrower and potentially a cheap baler. I do need those. Yeah, well, no, would not be the worst idea in the world. Well, about that, Chris, I'm actually contemplating getting rid of my round baler. How much you want for it? Um, thirty-five. Need a sprayer? <laughs> that's actually not a bad. That's not a bad deal for you, bud. <laughs> no, not saying I just literally paid Nate thirty grand. <laughs> Oh no, you've you spent way more than that on, on me doing a custom spray for you. If you add everything up, you've easily spent 60, 70 grand. Oh, yeah. I didn't say that out loud. No, no, you don't need that. You do not need this. Nope, you're good. You don't need this at all. Yeah. No, 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 no. Don't let me get. Nope. Nope. Chris, uh. And you thought your farm was failing. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to go, uh, go back to my bedroom and cry for a little bit. You don't want to go get your baler and. Bring it here and take this with you? I mean, Chris, on a good note, I mean, they should have a seven-day return policy. When did you get it? A couple months ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I literally used it in one field. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think. They, they will have some type of return policy on it. If you only put, how many acres did you put on it? It's about 20 acres. I'll make that deal with you. Brown Baylor for Spur. I'm not forcing you into it, am I? No, because I just know how much money I'm going to save next year on custom spraying. <clears throat> hey, you forget. You spent most of that money on chemicals. You own total, realistically, on custom spraying, you probably only spent 10 grand. Most oh, of that was just on chemicals. Like, you, you honestly forget that. But think about how much uh, you're going to save with the sea and spray. It's only going to spray where it sees weeds. I have a sea and spray in my dreams, but it's still a sea and spray. Now his his sea and spray is when he grabs a spray bottle and tries to spray me. Be gone with the demons! That's what this is for. All right, Alex, since you're getting like a 20 grand deal, do you think you can help me figure out how to get this offer here? Uh, yeah. You want me to go grab my Kubota? Yeah. That's the best idea, since so you got to bring it over here anyway. Yeah, let me, let me do that. Let me go get the round baler. And bring that over, and we'll unload, and I'll hook up to that when we're done. Awesome. Hey, Chris. Yo. Can you put that down? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I bought another field that's closer to you. 
Or not bought, my bad, rented. Okay. So you know that, Phil. You talking directly across the street from Happy? Yes. Oh, that was you. I noticed there were some changes. Like it was harvested. So, yeah, I rented the field. I'm only paying 20 grand a year for the lease, so it's not that bad. Wow. But that's still kind of out of my way to come this far over. Would you want to kind of partner up and we both take care of that field together? What are you thinking of planting in it? Do you have anything specifically you want to plant in it? Because I really don't have nothing that needs to be planted. I've already planted all my corn and soybeans for the year that I need. Like, the, I have no extra seeds. The only thing I was I was planning on doing is this area over here. You see the chicken coop has no chickens in it? Yeah. Because I really don't want to buy feed. I wanted to make my own. And so I was yeah. thinking of turning this into a field. But the potential of keeping this grass and using that field for something to get some chicken feed. But I don't know if that's a very profitable crop for a field that big. I mean, we made, so the crop that was on it, me and Happy Harvested together, we made 30 grand a piece. I mean, not 30 grand, 30 grand together. And we split it 15, uh, no, we made 40 grand on the entire field. We split it four different ways. Okay. So we split it amongst four, uh, four different farms because there's four different farms out there helping us that day. So, so you're making a 20, 20 grand, grand profit after product and everything. Well, by the time we get done paying the lease, the lease is 20 grand. Once we pay the lease for next year, we would be looking at a 20, 20 grand ish. Because it was uh, barley that was on it last. What do you think so about kind of of the. How is it taken care of? Like, do you think we can get better yield out of it this year? Yes, definitely. It had a bottom of the barrel yields. Like uh, if you look here, so if you look here at my phone, so I have the yep. Green Star app here. Yep, I'm looking at it now. Yep. So you see that right there, how it, that's just not the yields it should have had for that. It should have been yielding very higher. So I do think we can go in, put some lime down and some other stuff uh -huh. and get a way better yield out of it. So we could potentially could maybe double that, not the profit, but the... You know, instead of 40, it could be like 60 or 70. Mm-hmm. Hmm. But what would you like? So crop rotation might be important, too. So barley, we need, like, does wheat grow good here? Well, what I've seen, I mean, I've seen some people plant wheat. I haven't seen a whole lot. I mean, is that what you're planning on planting? Well, I was thinking barley or wheat for the chickens, yeah. So you do got to remember, if, we, if you plant wheat, wheat takes an entire year. Same as barley, yeah. Same as barley. So I'm just letting you know that now. If you plant, if we decide to plant those things, it's going to be an entire year before we can get back in that field and plant anything else. But if we plant barley in it again, do double barley, put a little bit of extra fertilizer on it this time, when it comes next year, when we if we plant it early enough, we can harvest ourselves some. Well, if we plant it now, we can get possibly some soybeans on it next year. Okay, so what you're thinking is we do barley again, barley on barley. Don't worry about that because we, we know we're going to double crop next year. Yep. I'm in. How do we want to split up the responsibilities? Do you want to be reliable for the spraying and or the plant? What do you want to be reliable for, spraying, planting, or? Well, I, I love. Planting or spraying? I can take care of the lime. And get it prepped we could maybe plant together that's easy and then since it's so close to me mm. i could spray it too what do you do i would we... have to i'd have to buy for this plant since you were planting barley back in it i'd have to borrow someone else's planter <gasps> now that you mention it i would too <laughs> oh you haven't even thought about you over here playing to plant, plant this over here is barley you ain't got a planter i mean a cedar I just have a planter. <laughs> you know ah. who has a planter? Alex? I mean, yeah, Alex has a cedar. So we could possibly borrow his. But you know what isn't unheard of? Going to the dealership and possibly leasing us a second cedar? Oh, for sure. And then if we decide to do it again, then it's time to buy one. But like, Exactly. I, but if we're going to, you know, swap back to beans, and then we could probably do beans and corn as a rotation after the first barley or something. Maybe, I don't know. We, why are we or, talking well, two years from now? We can figure that out then. Exactly. But we at least have the next year and some. 
Yep. Uh, we do have at least a little bit of a plan right now to go forward because what we can do is not only do we do that, like get that, get your that, we can also turn around and get happy out there with the baler and bail the field and sell the bales to him for half the profit. Oh, the straw bales? Yeah. Okay. So that field can just not do nothing make money. Hey, Don. Oh, you're back. So what, did I, <laughs> what did I hear my name? When I was we, we might need to borrow a cedar. We need to borrow the cedar. Okay. Uh, so if you need to borrow a round baler from Happy, then why did I bring, or why are we trading for a round baler? Because two round balers makes it easier than just one, especially you know, all in that, that big stop, field. All that stopping. Silly round right. balers. You realize it still took me and Happy because I went and borrowed your round baler for it. I, it still took me and Happy to round bail that entire field probably three or four hours. Yeah, that's true. And I'm going to be doing a lot of grass, so I need my own baler anyways. Well, that's the next thing I was going to ask you about. My bail wrapper because I no longer have a baler. Hey, you got that don't super... You do, don't you do silage? Why are you selling all your silage? They got a silage pit. I have a silage pit. You just hate yourself. That's yeah, they, they like they like rolling <laughs> in the silage over there. They, they they just hate themselves if they're all they're doing is just making silage and not putting in the bales. They just hate themselves. You prefer the pit okay. over over the bales? I like the belt systems. Oh. Uh, okay. And this is why he's in a half a million dollars worth of debt, and I'm not. Hey, hey, hey. you're talking to someone else in half a million dollars worth of debt. Oh yeah. But I, but you know what's not right here? What? A bunch of construction trucks building a subdivision right behind the trees behind you because of that True. debt i'm in yeah and True. across the street from my house oh is that the same reason you're in debt yep okay we're saving this town yeah, yeah. All, in, all until they come and take the land anyway for three grand and three grand an acre i want to know this what happens when they come take your land for three grand an acre and you still owe half your debt oh, i visit my bankruptcy attorney i guess <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just trying to figure that out because I know me personally I would I would not like that I have mine on a two year loan so by the time it is time for us to get out of this debt I'll be pretty much out of that debt as or as, bankrupt or bankrupt one or the other right? it's going to be plus or negative it, and if we don't make it out of this then at that point in time well I guess I kind of deserved it but at least I tried well, the 500000 on mine is a, a lien on all of my land, the way I did the loan. Yeah. So I would I would need to get, for all my fields and the house and everything, I would need to get 500000 back. And I did a 20-year because of that. So I, like, yeah. refinanced the house to, to buy that land. Oh, you re so you didn't put the loan just on that land? No. Ah. Uh, just on the land. I about to say that would have been a little bit smarter if you did it just on the land you could just file bankruptcy on just the land i know but i would have had to the payments would have been a lot more because i couldn't do as many years yeah 22 sure. grand a month yeah I, I couldn't do that i might be able to do that next year but right now i'm barely getting by oh i'm right there with you i mean i did have to take out two loans but you know i don't really gotta pay but worry about them loans anymore because someone else helped me pay them off who did that the person I did all the custom work for. Oh. <laughs> so. All right, Alex. I want to see how you're how you're gonna get this off of here. What's happening, Alex? Yeah. Do you want me to uh, wire you the money over? Yeah. Let me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We had a good conversation last night. We're all we're all square. Give me, let me just a second here. Did you get that? All right, we're all square, right? Yeah, let me see. Where's that at? This one right here? Oh, yeah, that'll work perfect. Beautiful. Yeah, I'll come back when, when I get contact with Nate later today. We'll come back and get this. I think I might rent one as well so we have two, though, because I have another field, unless, unless I borrow it before he's ready. Yeah, this will be perfect. All right, thank you. I'm gonna go wrap some bales and I'll catch up with you later. All right, enjoy my sprayer. I mean, your sprayer.
I got all the bales picked up because we're going to start plowing this field here today. And I want to get grass planted here after our conversation with Nate last time, which made me really excited about the opportunity to get our barley going. Get that lowered. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yep, and no spare capacity for apples is a thing that's going on in the server right now, so just keep that in mind. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get this plowed and oh, where's the plow going? That was interesting. I think we're going a little too fast for it potentially. Let's slow down. But yeah, once we get this plowed, we're going to then head on over to get some lime put down on the new barley field. And I might actually take a break from plowing this to do that first because I know Nate's wanting to to get that into the ground pretty quickly and that'll be a higher priority than getting this grass planted because we do just need to get it planted so we can get better yield out of it and I think long term this is going to be our our silage yard here and it'll make us a lot of money over the next few years and keep income coming in while we're you know waiting for harvest and I just think it's a smart way for us to to really utilize our time here on the farm. So we'll get this done and probably take a break here in a second and go meet up with everybody and see how they're doing this morning. I think we're going to Tim Hortons here in Iowa instead of the, the one in Wisconsin like we did last time. So yeah, I think I'll get a little bit, a couple more passes of this done and head on in for breakfast. I think that's a good place to leave it for now. We'll raise that just to be safe. Yeah, we'll just get the rest of that plowed up in a little bit, but I'm gonna head on over to my truck here and head on into town, get some breakfast with the guys. Uh, Take it easy on me today. I'm in the doghouse already for how much money I've been spending lately. So if we can order off the kids menu maybe or the senior menu. You know, that's not how this works. You know, yeah. this. I'm out of here. Hey, hey. Goes Chris. Hey, Chris. How much was the Chris, bet, buddy? Get back here. What? Why? Why? <laughs> You're paying. I'm You're just paying. curious. Yeah, you how much the damage was. That. Um, well, I think I might be. It wasn't be, that no, bad. No. It was only $500. Go pay happy, it. Happy, do you, do you have a spare bedroom? Oh, no. I do. <laughs> is, do you need it? Oh, is no. your wife going to kick you out? Maybe let me um, oh, hold on. I'll be right back. Yeah. All right. It was it was 502. We're, we're good. Um, okay. I really we really can I harvest now? Can I harvest now? I know my crops aren't ready, but I think I need to harvest now. Do you need a loan? We can't be lending some money. I was about to say, if anything, we've got to go spend more money today, me and you, because we have to go get another planter or no. cedar. Oh, All right. Well, I'm going to go home. I got to get that field sprayed with some lime. And then yeah. I'll meet up with you and we can do that. Yeah, sounds good. I mean, More. it wasn't the most expensive. Thanks for taking it easy on me, guys. <laughs> Not a problem. It could, it could be worse. What happened to what happened to, to me at Taco Bell the other day? I had to pay and it was 5000 <laughs> Was that after the medical bills from Taco Bell? <laughs> no. No, no, I, we ain't sent him the medical bills yet. The medical yeah. bills are still in the mail. Yeah. No, I swear, I swear, Nate. I swear. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie, you gonna enjoy that medical bill. Well, no, I mean, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I didn't put my insurance down, so no copay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see which tractor do we want to use the spreader on. I think, I think, um, yeah, let's do this one. We don't get to use this a lot, so I, I do like it for prepping fields. So let's go ahead and we'll get the spreader. 
We'll go get that field done. We'll prioritize that over our new field. That's kind of our side project when we have downtime, getting that cor that grass field ready. So I'm not super worried about that getting prepped, but we do need to get it going and hoping to get it to where I can do the first harvest of it in spring. So we got some time. But let's get a few more things of lime out just to be ready. And we'll go ahead and cruise up here and make sure it's topped off. And we'll see how far that goes. We might have to come back and get more, but let's head on over to this field and start getting it prepped. Then we'll get back in the Alice Chalmers and get that all finished plowed later on if we have time today. All right, so we're gonna start right here. Perfect, it's going down nice. bit of an issue with getting the field data to prep or to display correctly and we got that fixed on the tractor so now we're laying down the right amount of lime should be pretty good here we should see a little bit more come out now yeah so so the precision data is working correctly so we'll get this ph in a good good state here and then we'll go head over and chat with nate about getting that all ready and going with uh planting some barley there we go that's better 1.2.63 a little bit higher here all right this is working a lot better now Here. We got this filled up. Uh, potentially have to get some more sent over from the dealership. We talked to them a little bit about that. This is the last of our lime. Money's getting tight. Got to pinch the pennies until harvest. Really got to figure something out though, because uh, we're heading towards bankruptcy at this point, and I'm not excited about that. Oh, there's Happy doing some work. Nice. Happy picking up his bales. Look at that setup. You should do that with ours. What a process. All right, all done with the liming. Gonna head back over here and potentially plow a little bit. I just gotta, gotta get a little bit more work done, I think, before I head over to see Nate. I also gotta go get a cedar rented. Oof, it's gonna be a rough one. All right, before we head over to Nate's, we're going to, or to meet up with Nate, we're gonna go to this dealership over here and see about renting a cedar because we're gonna need it. So yeah, we should just take a right here. Yeah, it should be straight ahead. Perfect. So for $1,000, we got the cedar leased, and we're going to head on over and see if we can find Nate. Oh, I hear you over there. You ready to do this? Yeah, I was born ready. I got, the, I got the lime put down. I'm down a little bit of cash for that, but that's okay. Well, I did the spring. Trust me, I'm down cash from that. I uh, know. I'm ready to get some seed in the ground so we can see our potential profits start to start to grow yeah yeah shouldn't be that bad and then i'll spray for weeds when the weeds start growing nice nice so we're All gonna right, get that so not took care of i'll go get alex's and bry's cedar from them okay we'll i'll head over to the field and start getting this uh this cedar all prepped for that okay then. sounds good All we're right. doing barley right barley yep all right sounds good all right see you in a few like a tractor see you in a little bit 
Hey, Chris, I don't know about you, but I love these road gear mows on these newer John Deere's. Yeah? I'm going 58 miles an hour. Oh, jeez. Even in my case, I can only go 32 in this Magnum. I can go I can go 58 on this in this newer John Deere. Well, you be careful on this road leading up to here. There's come some crazy bumps in it. Yeah, it's the apple orchard person. What do you want from him? He don't know how to maintain a road. Last I checked, that was his city's job, not mine. But, okay. How'd you end up on the same radio frequency? <laughs> I'm right behind you, pretty much, but you just sped way away from me. I don't see you. Well, yeah, you're driving 58 miles an hour. You booked it right past me. All right. I've already got the thing switched over to barley like we need it to be. All right. All right. I think barley's going in the ground. All right, Chris. I'm lapping up the last little bit right now. Yeah, I'm over here just uh, taking a taking a break, watching you finish. Yeah, hey, I'm just letting you know there's no capacity for apples. Yeah, I think this entire world has enough apples at this point. I think it does too. Yeah, uh, yeah. I would not. I cannot lie and say I wouldn't be mad if the subdivision bought Happy Out first. <laughs> Do you want to, um, while you have some spare time, help me plant a really tiny grass field real quick? Yeah. You got the seeds over there, so you switch the seeds over. Yep. Yeah, we had a nice little tray over here. I'll, I'll show you. Uh, you slow down. Why? Easy, easy, easy. There's a bump right there. Yeah, this field to the left. This should take us no time. Hey, slow folks, speed up. Looking good. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead of you this time, because last time we did those rounds, it didn't work out too well. Yeah, your tractor's a little faster. A little. Hey, speed doesn't matter, Nate. Kind of does, I mean... Well, that was another good job done. I know we're fast at this job. Yeah, I'm uh, excited to uh, get this back same day. I was worried I was going to get another day worth of, of rental on it. Same here. I'm going to go return this to Alex. I'm going to let him have it back, and I got to pay him three grand for renting this out. Oh, and three after, grand? Oof. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. spray this one down to make sure I don't get any extra fees for it coming back dirty. Oh, he's getting it as is. Ah, yeah. He's not the dealership, though, so he'll be fine with it. You already agreed on a price, but, I, they, you know, they told me, you know, they'll pretty much double it if I don't clean it. Yeah, you like, is it that it. hard to spray a, a cedar? No, well, extra man hours is what they think yeah. it is. So it is what it is. I'm going to take this back to them. And I guess, what are you about to start doing? Um, I got nothing. You want to come by my farm and help me uh, replace some chopping blades on some headers? Sure. Get ready for some good old fashioned harvest. Yeah. Maybe I can learn something. I got a, I got a new harvester that I haven't used yet. I'm excited to use that. Won't be too bad. Okay. It's a uh, happy harvest season. As you can see, it is now time to start harvesting. It's uh, November, and we got to get busy with this harvest before the beans go bad. So it's time to get the harvester ready. We got the grain cart already. I'm, <laughs> We're broke. We got $9,000 left. Might have to sell some of the silage before it's at peak price, but we got to get going. We got to get busy. We got to get the harvester out and get to work. Pull that out about right here. Attach the trailer. Should be able to hook up to it right here. There we go. Exciting times. Let's go ahead and get it lowered and turn it on. Well, we got a little soybean straw coming out as well. Exciting times. We're going to do this field first and we'll see how it goes and learn from that before we do the bigger fields. I think that's the wise idea here. We'll see see how well we yield. And we definitely need to get the bin set up with the auger so we can put this stuff away because it's nowhere near the right time of year to sell soybeans. But we need to get some money because our bills are hurting us big time. The yield doesn't look too terrible. We got 20, 23 bushels already, or sorry, 66 bushels already. It looks like we're getting well over 100 bushels an acre which is nice. 
I'll have to check with the other guys. I haven't done much harvesting on the farm since I've taken it over from my dad, so I'm not sure what a good number is. Yeah, 106 bushels per acre is what we're looking at right now, which is real good, I think. So we'll keep plugging away, keep you updated on how harvest is going, and really excited to catch up on our finances because you can see we're only at, you know, about ten thousand dollars and the bills are piling up so it was about time to get to harvesting and the straw is definitely going to help with some extra money glad we got that baler would like to get a square baler instead i might look at trading that in eventually but i wanted to get this smaller fields like these two here done first before i venture over to the big field because i'm, I'm still learning a little bit about this process here so we'll go ahead and stop right there. We don't want to damage too many crops. Go ahead and shut her off. Raise the header just to be safe. Open up the pipe. And we'll head on over and get the grain cart and get her filled up. We got to get the bin set up too. Uh, I should probably do that first. I think we're good there. Let's go ahead and get it opened up. We'll take a look up here and see how well everything's lined up. Yeah, we got to back up just a little bit more. All right. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. All right, let's get it in the grain car here and get her filled up and see how how this process treats us. We definitely need a bigger cart. And I know it's not full. It's 50% full. Okay, so we can get two loads in this, but I do want to put this in the bin just to make sure we got the whole situation all prepped and, and know what we're doing. So we should just drive up here, get real close, and we should be able to just run into the bin and then turn a little bit and get closer i do want to get one of those drive over ones eventually so get right here and we should be able to just unload and we should look back see it going in very nice once you get going here this thing pretty much drives itself it's a dream it's looking like it's gonna be just short of another seventeen thousand here which oh we almost ruined some crops there Woo -hoo -hoo. Which is a little unfortunate, but if we can get about 50,000 between these two fields here, I think we'll be happy. All right, one field done, and just because I'm uh, kind of weird about this, I'm going to go ahead and start this field and get this full because I want to keep it in my head, the amount of money we have. So we'll get this full, get the grain cart over here. And empty it out. All right, let's go get it. Another field done. We're going to drive back into the farm here and get it prepped to unload. And we're going to take care of some maintenance on it. Just make sure it's cleaned up nice before we start the bigger fields. And uh, we got to make sure we have enough cash for a corn header. And that's kind of been the thing that's been on the back of my mind the whole time. We don't have money. We might have to beg someone to borrow theirs when it gets time to harvest our corn but yeah let's go ahead and get this open and get back in the grain cart we're just going to shut this off once it's done unloading not too bad let's actually get that closed and then we can shut it off and we'll loop around here and empty more grain into the bins got all the data put into the tablet here let's take a look at how we're looking Forty-five thousand, so about five thousand short of that rough goal that we we set so not bad we'll get the gleaner all cleaned up and we'll get prepped for the bigger fields tomorrow but i wanted to take a look yeah this grass is looking good so yeah come come the spring we should definitely be able to harvest that and make good money off of that so let's go look at the cornfield let's see if it's ready oh yeah looking good over here that's gonna do it for this episode uh we'll catch up with you guys later thanks for hanging out and i appreciate all of you that have made it this far into the video and uh, hit a like please for me i would appreciate it a ton i don't ask very often but figured i would for once i'm socks way up I'll catch you on the next episode. Welcome back to Last Chance. We're gonna pick up where I left off off camera. I did a lot of work to keep up with the series. Everyone's progressing pretty fast, so I wanted to keep make sure they weren't waiting for me. We got some of our soy bean straw here. We're starting to wrap those up or bale them. Sorry, it's not wrapping. Let's get back into John Deere where I took off before. Pick up where I left off before I went to breakfast and get this done. We're gonna get these sold today too because we need to buy a corn header. And yeah, this field we did harvest off camera and we got still the rest of it back there, the huge part of the field still to harvest as well as the corn field. Like I said, I gotta, I gotta keep pace with everyone else. So we're just trying to get a little head off camera. But oh, oh, 
them out of practice with round balers. So we're going to get this bailed up and get it sold today. Get that corn header. Get back to harvesting. Maybe see if anybody else needs help. But for the most part, we're going to be pretty busy. All right. Got them all wrapped up. We're going to go take this home. Get the trailer. Get these loaded. And I think I'm going to try and get a hold of Happy and see if he can help me transport some of these. Ah, uh, because uh, he's got that double trailer over there. That could really come in handy. Hey, Happy. Hey, what's going on? What's happening? I was just finishing bailing and picking everything up. I was about to call you and see if you would be willing to help me transport these with your setup over there. And then maybe oh, I yeah. can help I you with, setup. with yours as well. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, how many bales do you have? Do you know? Ah, uh, don't. I, I, These here and then that field you just drove by is where the majority of them. I think I can fit the rest of these on this trailer. Ah, I hope so. Okay. I'm hoping it's more. It's not more than one trip, but with your double, I have, I have a feeling it's going to be two trips still. It, it probably will be. So I'll go get my trailer set up, and I'll probably just meet you in that field next to mine then. Yeah, perfect. And then you All had right. a lot of bales you needed transported too, right? Oh, I've got, I've got like 150 bales in that field I need transported. I got a lot. Oh, yeah, we can do that today then for sure. Yeah, for sure. All, All right. right. See you in a few. All right. Uh, you know how to get there? I do, yep. All right. I haven't been there before, so I'll follow you. Okay. Oh, it's going to be a long drive. Yes, it is. Especially since we got to go over to Wisconsin, across yeah. the river. Better prices there, though. joined Happy's Farm. That's why my money looks like it does. We're going to take these back and sell it for him. No, you just did that off-camera hack. Yep, yep. Oh, hey, Happy. What's going on? I was wondering if you had something I could rent for gathering my grain while I harvest. Okay, we got a couple options here if you want to follow me over here. We've got, we just purchased this Kenworth W990 brand new from the Western Star dealership. Okay, wow. My, my favorite semi. I'm assuming it's probably out of your price range. That's pretty expensive since it's brand new. That's beautiful. Um, yeah, it's amazing. And we got this nice trailer that came with it. They'll probably be the semi we take across state lines and stuff. Did you run something over? I did not. Did T I miss something? The tire looks flat. Oh, it does look flat. 
Yeah. I'll have to get the mechanic in here and see if there's a leak anywhere on that. It looks like they ran it. Whatever they ran over, it looks like got these three tires. Okay, so if that's out of my price range, what do you got? Okay, we got this grain truck back here. That's probably your best bet. Huh. We just picked this up today as well. It's used. How many bushels does this hold? Uh, off the top of my head, I'm pretty sure this one holds 650 bushels, if I okay. remember correctly. I think I get 350 so in my gravity wagon. So that would definitely right. help. Then I could do less do, trips. Do you want to know the best part? Huh. It's got a hitch back here. You can hook up your gravity wagon. Oh. There you go. How much are you running this for? Uh, how long do you need it? Uh, probably the rest of the month. All right, rest of the month. I'd say probably five to ten thousand will cover the month, probably. All right, you want half up front, or how do you want to do that? Half up front's fine, yeah. All right, let me let me just send you some monies. Let's yeah, you send me an invoice. All right, here we go. Let's see if I remember how to do this. I've never done it. All right. I sent you an invoice. All right, let me see if I know how to do this. Oh, look at that. Okay. Um, pay invoice. All right, and then All I right. figure, and I'll leave my truck here for collateral. That works. Yeah. All right. Get it in a better spot for you, though. It's not just in the way. All right. All right, and there are a couple questions I've got to ask you here. So, technically, you don't have to have a CDL. Um, have you ever driven a truck like this before? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Okay, then you should be fine. Um, just if you pull in the gravity wagon, just be careful. You don't want to tip it down going down hills and stuff. And then this, I'm sure you know what you're doing. This tips from the back. Yes, it does. Okay. Yep. There's a grain door back here. You open up. Very cool. All right. Thank you very much. I'll get a lot of use out of this and bring it back when I'm done. All righty. Have fun. All right. Bye. Bye. Well, thanks to Happy, we got a nice little setup here, but we're gonna take the case back to the house. We need to load up as much of that honey as possible and get it to the production. I do wanna get oatmeal turned on today. Been constantly delaying that and we're losing money at this point. But with the sale of all of the soybean straw, we definitely have enough cash to buy the corn header. I loaded up as much as I felt we needed. It's 951 gallons of honey. That should get us for a while. It's probably way more than we need actually. But let's keep the rest here. And we have seven magical bales that are with us. I'm not sure what that's about, but let's go ahead and uh, head on into town and we'll get this all set up at the factory. Like all I've been doing this episode is driving. But we're here. Can't remember, did we leave the gate open? We did, all right. So I'm not 100% sure exactly where the factory manager wants me to drop this off, but let's let's try over here. Yeah, perfect, okay. And it looks like it is gonna take all of it. And now let's talk to our manager. So oatmeal is automatically activated. We wanna deactivate that. So we got oatmeal going and we will store it for now. I know these bushels aren't going to last very long, but we'll get a little bit and got to talk to some more farmers in town about possibly working out a deal to purchase more oats. Let's get home. It's time for the big harvest. And we'll get the grain cart going, but eventually we might get someone from town to help out. Let's go ahead and back up, make sure we get this lowered. And away we go. And we'll see, hopefully, 105 bushels an acre is what we've been averaging. So hopefully we get at least that much, if not better, would be nice. Nice dark green right here, though. We're going to need all the money we can get. Yeah, I got some yellow yield here. 1.5, 105.5 bushels an acre still. This yellow area will probably drop that a little bit. But... Can't complain. We're doing pretty good. We're not going to get that debt completely paid off this year, I don't think, but we'll get a good chunk into it. Hoping this gets us another hundred plus thousand dollars worth of beans here, but only time will tell. And back into the green. So didn't drop below 105 bushels. We're at 105.3 per, per acre right now. There's our 50% full mark. It scared me a little bit. I don't think we'll quite make it around this entire field, but... It's going to give us a good idea of the type of yield we're going to get. And gosh, 
Maybe we will pay off that debt. 80% full now and not quite close to being wrapped around this field. Feeling a lot more promising the longer we go. We're up to 106 bushels an acre. Back to the yellow yield area. It's going to be a long one. I think what we're going to do is take off a couple end rows over here to help the grain cart get in, since we're going to be pretty full here in a second. So we'll just shift this over just to make sure there's enough room for them. We'll go ahead and turn here and keep going, and then we'll back we'll back out after we get full here. All right, let's get to this area that's open and get the cart over here to start unloading. Yeah, renting this from Happy was definitely the right decision. Only cost us 10 grand total, five grand up front. That way we didn't have to buy our own equipment for stuff that we're gonna use only a couple, you know, days a year. So we'll have to figure something out when it's time to sell all of the grain, but that'll be a problem for another day. All right, let's go ahead and fill up the back of this truck first. Go, go ahead and shut it off and leave it, leave it there for now. Very good. Blainer's doing a great job. Let's get back in here and back at taking the headland away. 80% full. We're almost up to 107 bushels an acre. So it seems like we did something right with this field and got it prepared correctly for the soybeans. We'll get this filled up again. We we'll get the truck moved over. Get the second headland taken out. Start doing up and downs. It'll be interesting to see how many times we fill up those carts. All right, we are full again. Time to get the cart. All right, second load. Doesn't even look like we're getting very close to filling up that truck, so definitely a wise decision to rent that from Happy. Third hopper full. Get this load unloaded, and I think what we're gonna do is focus on finishing up harvesting in this back area here so that we don't have to come all the way back here anymore. Yeah, still a good amount. So we'll get this unloaded and then we'll turn around and finish that up and then work our way back in. Well, we got this back area all complete. We're gonna work on this new this little cutout here next. It's in front of us. And then we'll get to that bigger area after that. But we're 71% full, it looks like, in the front cart. Definitely helping out. We would have been doing multiple trips like crazy without leasing this truck. All right, not quite full yet. This next one will do it for sure. And we're gonna back up. Get this whole area behind us. All right, the truck's finally full. Starting to fill up our grain cart here, the gravity wagon. Hopefully, I don't know. I don't know what I'm hoping. I definitely think we won't have to make two trips. We'll be able to head back with just the gravity wagon and a little bit in the combine. The worst case, it's about those blades are running still. Hop in this way and we will continue. We are almost done. Okay, last little section here. Be interesting once we put it in the bins to see what our stock price check is telling us. After doing this harvest, it was a great yield. We got 109 acres or bushels per acre, 109 bushels per acre now. But I just don't feel like it's gonna be enough for our debts. So I got the cornfield to do and sell all of this straw, but yeah, it's gonna take a while to pay off that debt. All right, we're gonna go put this away. We're not gonna put it away. We're actually gonna go clean it and get it prepared for the corn header that we need to go buy. And then we'll bring the cart back and fill up the bins. We got that. Let's get our almost 2,000 bushels home. Let's get these unloaded. Going in the bin, nice. Then we'll get this detached and unload the other trailer. All right, just getting ready to close this here so we don't leave it open. Beautiful, there we go. All closed, drop that there for now. Then we'll loop around and dump this grain. Dumping the beans in here and get the rest of them. Oh, and there we go. Oh, doesn't like that spot. Might just be dumping too fast, actually. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and get the farm all shut off. Oh, the international, it's not a farm all. And let's check our grain prices. Oh, okay, so now we're sitting at $230,000 when it's at peak price. That's sad. Silage, we're gonna get 59,000 out of though. That's not too bad. And we got a little more grass to turn. We're gonna head to the store next. 
And, well, let's clean off the gleaner first. Yeah, so the next thing is to get that corn header. We'll get the bean header put away, put it back on its trailer, figure out exactly what corn header we want to buy, and attack the cornfield. We have our corn header, and we are heading back out to the cornfield to do our final harvest of the year. Very exciting. We still have a lot of straw to pick up, and there will be some corn straw as well, so we'll have to take care of that. But let's get over to the field, and we'll get the cart prepped as well and get rolling on this. The field entrance here. Make sure everything's prepped and we'll go get the carts. No, oh, no, Happy's truck is filthy. We'll just leave these right behind the harvester for now. And that was a terrible turn. <laughs> it's okay. All right, let's get in the gleaner here. It's turned on. That header lowered. And let's back up. Exciting times. First time doing corn here in Iowa. Eight row corn header. Could have been better, but it's what was available for us. And look at all of that straw. 127 acres, bushels an acre is what we're looking at right now. Well, that's a lot of straw dropping. 50% full. We are, gosh, almost halfway through the headland. And I was, you know, always hoping to get back, but always hoping to not get back at the same time. That didn't make any sense, but. Typically, I like to be able to get back for access, so I don't have to drive the green cart as far since I'm by myself right now. But it would be best financially if we don't get back. That's what I was trying to say. We'll see. We're going to get close. All right, 80% full here. Getting close to getting back. We are full. Let's shut it off. We're back up here. This looks like a decent spot we might be able to get the cart to. All right, let's get out. Run over to the cart real quick and loop around. And fill her on up. Missing a little bit there. Let's just turn. There, now it's getting in the cart. Shut this off. We'll go ahead and let that keep filling up. Awkward spot here. Look at this straw. My goodness. It's as tall as me almost. All right, get it back running here. And we're back at it. Almost back to the cart with the second load. See if we have enough room to turn around here and not damage any crops. Let's see how good Happy's truck is with turning. Oh, not, not, not too bad. All right, I dig it. Stay out of the straw though. And line up about right. Oh, almost didn't get there. Perfect breaking. All right, 300, some more. We should be at 700 bushels after that. Oh, very nice. Onward, forward and onward. Onward and forward. What's that saying? Onward and upward. That's it. People we'll pick about right here to start opening the field up. Go ahead and back up and get lined up good on this set of eight here. Oh, I didn't want to drop straw there. That's okay. And that should give us a good approach. All the way up and down. I don't know if we'll be able to make it there and back. These first ones we will because we're going to hit some of these areas we already harvested. But this yield's looking great. We're going to take a good amount of this to the cereal factory. And the rest, I'm thinking about purchasing a corn dryer and drying the corn and selling it. Because I do know that gives us a little bit more income. Corn peaks at about $17 a bushel. That's got to be wrong. We're going to have to figure out, oh, and then per yards, 510 per yard. Okay, we'll have to look into that a little bit more and see if it is worth it to do the dried corn versus the corn. I think it is because this is per bushel per yard. I'll have to do some calculations to try to figure that out. Well, 50%, we're not all the way there, so that's problematic. There could be a point where we get full and we need to... Yeah, and we're facing the wrong way. Turn around here. We will make sure that the auger is exposed to the already harvested side. And press on. Curious. We're going to make it all the way. Uh oh, we already had some in. I'm silly. That makes sense. Let's go ahead and clean up this other area to our left, though, before emptying. Try to get this all done so we can finish this little cutout here that we missed. So close. That's hilarious. All right, let's get the cart. Sitting well over a thousand bushels now. Very nice. Let's keep going. Probably be wise to unload while we're by the cart since we'll be completely full with the auger towards the unharvested corn. So let's go ahead and loop the truck around. There you go. And this Is this gonna fill up the back? I don't know. Not yet. Next one will. 
Very good. We're full. And we need to go set up the auger and the other bin for corn. But I think I'm going to get this hopper completely full. And then we'll do that. Just about full. And we just have a tiny amount to do. And I was hoping we got it all. Again, hoping we got it all because of laziness, not because of profit of the farm. So we'll keep going on this. Get it completely full here. And then we will head back to the house with the cart. Get everything all set up so we can store this corn before we decide exactly what we're going to do with it. So let's go ahead and get this shut off. We'll get that lifted. No reason to have that running. Unloading the corn is going good. We'll get the gravity wagon all unloaded and then we will move on to the grain truck itself. Should be, if we can get a collision out of the way, yep, yeah, going right in the hopper. Perfect. Over 2,000 bushels. Oh my goodness. All right, just sitting over here ready to close this once it is all done. It's hopping around. Look at that. It's moving shifting as the weight changes there we go got it close and let's get this moved out of the way so we can do the other cart all right let's see if we can get this lined up right oh don't don't oh uh oh might have moved things hopefully it still works and again we'll have to do this real slow constantly it's gonna get full oh it's handling it this time interesting oh there we go now it's full and we'll be back with you in a few and then we'll pull over here. We're going to take a look at our stock check and see how we're doing financially. So all that was only $44,000. I don't think we'll be selling any corn directly, though. So let's go ahead and head back out. I don't need the gravity wagon because I don't think we're going to fill this up. If we do, that's all right. But I do want to take a little detour. I heard a little rumor in town. Let's go check it out. Is there lime on this field too? What's Happy doing? Hold up. Is this cultivated? It is. What's he doing? He runs an orchard. All right, maybe these rumors are true. But what is in front of me? I'm gonna have to call the authorities on this. What's going on here blocking the road? Well, he's got the red flags up, at least. I think that's Happy's. I'm not sure. Happy Orchard. What is going on over here? I don't know. Let's uh, let's keep investigating. We'll drive around. Oh, there's a road here. Where does this lead to? I don't remember this road. But oh, this does appear to be true. Happy's expanding. Look at... Look at this house. It's an interesting touch there. I bet that looks awesome at night. We got here international trucks, grave digger, basketball hoop. Look at this system. See, this is what we need to upgrade to. Yeah, so like these bins here, you know, you use the auger and the belt system. This one has it like built into the ground, so it'll, you know, shoot it up there and get into the into the bins that way. Oh, these are nice. We got some... What is going on here? Oh, look at these too. You drying stuff in here? Kind of a nice setup here. I'm, I'm kind of jealous. This is what happens when you sell millions of dollars worth of apples, I guess. Good little setup here. I guess he's going to be doing some silage, maybe? A little corn header there. Looks like he's getting into the farming game and not just an orchard anymore. That's that's pretty cool. All right, we need to get back to work, though. Time's, time's running out on our harvest time. We need to get it done, really, so everyone else can progress as well. I think we're the last one at this point to harvest, so people are waiting on us. But let's go ahead and head back and get back to harvesting some corn. And since it's the only farm not in the intro, let's go ahead and do a top-down view of it and take a look at this thing once we get over there. So this was one ginormous field, and it looks like he's broken it up to five different fields. We got one, two, three, four different fields and the farm. Very nice. So nice usage of the trees to separate the fields. Yeah, let's get a little closer here and take a look. Looks like a campsite here. Well, oh, this looks like it's for cows. Okay, that's, I thought it was. I thought that was like a fire pit. I was gonna be very impressed. Yeah, silage. Okay, so silage tank here or silage pit. Nice, nice. This is good. I think Happy did pretty good with this one. He is a master farm builder though, so yeah, this looks great. Go let him know it's awesome. I'm sure there'll be episodes of it very soon. Let's get back back to harvest. So there's quite a few things that I still want to do in this episode and at the end of harvest season here. 
I definitely want to switch up and sell the baler that we have and get a square baler. So we'll have to sell the silage first and then we can come back to that. So let's finish, har we gotta finish harvest. We're gonna sell the silage. We're gonna get a square baler. We'll bale up this field and the soybean field across the way. Let's probably sell all those bales and hope to get enough money to purchase a production that I'm eyeing. And yep, we know we're full. So we'll go ahead and open this up and we'll probably have to uh, adjust where we're at because we're too close. Uh, yeah, to get a production for corn. I do want to get the corn drying going, but we need money. And I don't think we're going to sell any of the corn directly is what I was saying. We're going to take a good amount of it to the cereal factory, but we also need to find a distributor for raisins. So we need some money first though. So first thing is going to be silage and then bailing up all this stuff and then seeing where we're sitting financially to make some decisions. So we'll get this unloaded, get this harvest finished and move on to the other things. There we go. Let's close the auger and get this done. Look at all that green. Great harvest. Just not worth that much money. Unfortunately, we're playing on hard economy, so it does make things a lot harder. Well, it's definitely one of those bittersweet things that harvest is pretty much done and we'll do just, just need to turn around and get a few of those that we missed to finish it up. But work is nowhere close to being done on this farm for the fall. So there's a lot to do, even though harvest is wrapping up here. We will get the gleaner home, get it all cleaned up and put away for you know, the year pretty much until next fall. Oh, we do have that. Well, we'll be using it in the summer for the for the barley field. But for the most part, the gleaner is going to go away for a good amount of time. Which that part's kind of sad. I do love using this uh, this mod here. But we'll get this done, get it dropped off, get it cleaned up, put everything away, and move on with some of those plans we're talking about. I'm excited, actually. It's going to be fun. Harvest is done. Let's get this put in the grain truck here and get things home. I forgot poles have collision. I'm silly. So 507 more bushels. I would say for our first harvest, this has been pretty successful. We're gonna get this home. We're gonna leave this in the truck for now because we're just gonna be moving this corn around and just needed to put that other stuff in the bins to get it in safekeeping while we do the rest of our plans. So we'll get these if I can drive straight to the selling location and come back for the rest. Animal dealer. Not as far. You know, there was a time when I was really doubting myself as a farmer here, and I thought we were going to have to file bankruptcy. I'm feeling a little bit better about some of our plans, and I think it's time to see if we can pull this off. Save my marriage, save my farm. I think it's the best. I think it's I think it's going to work out. It's waiting at the red light. Thank you. It's a Del Taco. Why haven't we gone there for food? I do have it tagged because I haven't been to the animal dealer. I guess I have. But we're going to also turn on the indicators. So I know exactly where to put this stuff. I think I think it's right where the, the tag is for once. Well done, map creators here. DR and DJ modding. Well done. All right, let's see if we can get this in one go. Scoot over. Keep going, lower it down. Oh, that's up. Lower it down and do that. Oh, almost all of it. So 21,000 so far, plus an environmental score bonus. Very nice. Let's get that in there. So we're sitting at 64,000. Let's go get the rest. Beautiful. I was worried we weren't going to be very profitable, but we've got a lot of different revenue streams coming in. So let's get it this get it done and waiting for a red light again to do, do, do there goes the train the trees look awesome why would it turn yellow before it turns green we're we gonna hit this light we're we gonna get it we're we gonna get it oh can we turn right we can all right, that's not too bad. Not as many bales as last time, but they're bigger bales. So hopefully it gives us close to the same amount of money. I'm hoping to get close to about 80 grand. It's really what we need. We should be fine. I'm hoping. If not, I don't know what we're going to do. Long drive. Here we go. And apparently one of these bales is still grass. Ouch. Quite the drive. Well worth the money, though. That's what happens when you live in a big town. 
land-wise, not necessarily people-wise. Big fields, long ways to travel, especially when you're focused on best dollar. We got to get the most money, especially hard economy. It's rough. And waiting on a red light. Turn yellow. Come on. Turn yellow. Yellow. There you go. Let's go. Change, 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 change. Come on. Come on. Ah. Uh, yeah. Gas prices are pretty realistic. All right. We are here. Let's go ahead and try to get this in one go. And lowered. And boom. All but two. Oh, well over 80,000. Perfect. That one. And that one. Oh, we do have grass somewhere. Where do we have a little bit of grass? Weird. Okay, so those all were silage. We're at 97,000. We're going to head home. We're going to pick up the square or the round baler and we're going to head to the dealership. Maybe they'll give me a little bit of extra money since there's some straw in here. That would be nice. I doubt it. It's only three yards. This area is laggy. Ooh. All right, we're going to pull this straight in the garage. They know we're coming. We're actually, uh, I think we want to get into this one. Let's see. Yep, this is where we need to be. Mm, I don't have access. Okay, so we're just going to leave this here then. And let's go ahead and put this on display for them. Since I am by myself right now, I'll have to role play this without the rest of the guys. No, Yosho is playing the dealer for us, but I haven't had a chance to really interact with him that way. But we are at Perry State's tractor. So we're going to go in, we're going to make a deal, and that's fake. What the heck? Okay, we'll go in the door. And yep, they're still open. We're down to $12,000, but this is what we're buying here. And we're able to go ahead and trade in the other baler and get this for eighty grand. And it worked out in our favor. I don't typically use this type of implements uh, with the extra extension on it. This one doesn't feel too shady. It, it seems like it's, you know, just some extra width so we don't have to row everything up. I've never used one of these before, so it'll be fun. We'll give it a shot. We're gonna do the straw. We'll do the soybean straw first, and then we'll do the corn straw. And then we're gonna have to get it all sold. I'm not gonna wait for the best price for it. We need the money. Um, I'll take a look and see if it's how different. If we're getting really ripped off, then maybe we will hold off on a little bit, but we need to get at least, I think at least 50 grand in our account to do the next phase of my plan. Let's go ahead and enter the field here. We can just cut across and you know what? Might as well, let's give this thing a shot. We got a little bit of areas to clean up here. Get a lowered. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Turned on. And we should be able to just go real close here. Oh, bale size. Yeah, 220 is good. Yeah, that's going to be nice. That is going to be nice. So we're just going to kind of work our way around the field and pick up all this soybean straw. And let's get to the real field. The recommended speed is 20 miles an hour. So let's go ahead and get that set. We'll do the headland, then we'll set up GPS to help us really take care of this. And... This isn't going to, we're not going to see the advantage of this really until we do the corn field, but it's nice. We don't have to do these perfect, oops, I was supposed to be going 20 miles an hour. There we go. We don't have to do the perfect passes. We can be a little sloppy with our driving here. And then where we don't, what I was really worried about with the corn is since our header was only eight rows, there's a lot of rows of straw to pick up. So we'll be able to do more in one pass than we would with a regular baler. It's about three passes in one with this thing, so it's gonna, you know, speed us up by three times. And, you know, time is money, so. Yeah. Look at those bales just flying out. This is great. And there's a lot of them. Or there's gonna be a lot of them. Eight bales already. Woo, we flying. And see, I missed there a little bit, but it wasn't too devastating to our path slow down one more there we go now we're going areas like this is real nice for this so we don't have to go over it more than once we were a little messy when we we're harvesting but we'll be able to pick it up pretty cleanly looky there 18 bales already we're not even done with the headland just so many bales to pick up and move oh man now i do forgive me if i said this already 
I do love the mechanics of a round baler and it's fun. Round balers are fun. Fields this size, I just, I couldn't do it. I had to have a square baler. I was gonna do the cheap John Deere, $12,000 fancy, you know, square baler that I've used in a lot of series, but we don't have that on this mod pack. So we went with this one. I saw it in there and decided to give it a shot. New mods are always fun to use. And how many are we sitting at now? 30 bales already. So that's already one trip with our trailer, pretty much. I don't actually, I don't know how many square bales it's gonna hold. We'll have to find, we'll learn all that together. Guess we could have done a bigger size bale. Maybe we'll do that with the corn stock. Whoa, 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 who just disconnected the baler? Can't do that. We're almost done, 63 bales already. Lots of driving in our future. All right, we're done with the first field. Let's go ahead and unload those bales. We're gonna go straight to the cornfield and bail that up. Our number right now is 73. Let's look at what that says for money. Uh, soybean straw, 42 grand. I like it, I like it a lot. It already gives us enough for the next phase. Well, let's just, just to make sure, I have a feeling we might have to go around this more than once. Maybe not. Yeah, it's still leaving some behind because some of these piles are huge. So even going at six miles an hour, they're just ginormous. That's hilarious, actually. Yeah, leaving some behind. So we'll, we'll, that, well, luckily it's not this big of a field. So it won't be too bad, but it just can't process as much straw that fast. It is just spitting out bales. Oh, okay. Already 10 grand. This is wild. Yep, oh, okay. Oh, moving us around a little bit. I don't think, I think we're gonna slow down the speed here and we'll see if we go slower it can process it. It's still putting a little bit behind. So yeah, two passes everywhere. And oh, lag, lag spike. And we might have to pick up all the bales and move them because they are just instantly getting spit out here. The UI can't even keep up with how fast these are filling up. Craziness. Oh, I wonder if anybody else did corn straw. I might be the only one. I hope so, because this is insane. This seems broken. Corn straw might get us out of debt. I keep calling it straw. It's corn stocks. I know that. We are just sliding all over the place. Craziness. 150, oh my goodness. We're gonna lag the server. We are gonna lag the server with bales. We might have to stop here and sell in a little bit. Made the bale size bigger. It's gonna be a f kind of annoying when we go to pick them up because we can only do one size at a time, but I, it'll make for less bales and I really should have done that to begin with for the server's sake. <laughs> I don't think we're really worried about the little bit of leftover in between bales that we're gonna get. Oh, wow. We're at, we're gonna get to 200 bales and then we're gonna start picking these up just to be friendly to the server. All right, let's go ahead and shut it off and we're gonna pull to the side. We got a lot left, oh my goodness. Okay, you can get moved. Let's go ahead and shut this off. We're gonna get the truck and see if that works on the trailer because it's gonna be a lot of back and forth. The truck is right here. Yeah, the prices aren't great. We're gonna lose about, so far, $10,000. No, but, oh no, only it's like $6,000. It's not bad. Max price is higher. Oh, no, no, then current price, that makes sense. But over a million already? Okay, yeah, yeah, we gotta pick this stuff up. We're gonna lag the server out. We'll go get the trailer. See how many we can fit. Hopefully it's not like 18 trips, but you know, it might be. And this might not be compatible. Oh no. Oh, it is. Okay, whew. This is how we're gonna have to do it. Gleaner still needs cleaned. We'll take care of that later. We got problems though. We're gonna go straight to the cornfield and start picking up these ones first. Jeez. It says 32 will fit. Guess that's not bad. Do all these outside ones. Yeah, it, it recognized the larger one. Grab that one and a little bit of soybean. Okay, I will see you in a little bit. Okay, first 32. And we need to find out where we're going. Grain export. Let's tag that. See it in the sky, we'll drive towards it. First trip of many. Let's see, where is this at? Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Eesh. 
All right, I believe it's one of the places just in town here, so it won't be too terrible to do the back and forth, but figuring out the exact spot will be interesting. And how we get in here? Uh, I think it's right here. No, we don't go in there, no way. Well, that's gonna be rough. We fit. Is it gonna, is this, this is, this is a disaster ready to happen. Yep, that's not gonna work. Okay, they're all just, okay. That's not gonna work. So if I grab one of these, can we actually sell it here? It lied. It lied. Okay, is it around here in the green area? Okay, let's try over here. Do you want it? Turn on the triggers. Okay, that's not, that's not it. Oh, right here. Okay, that's not bad. We can do that. Couple didn't get collected. We'll, we'll pick those up in a second. Okay, was it just one that fell? Yeah, we'll grab that. This is hilarious to me. Are we getting like just one grand each? That's still a lot of money with how many we have. Yeah, not even. Okay, so now move these over, drop them. Should be about 15 grand per load. A little more there. Okay, let's head back and get more. All right, let's get 32 more. Hey, look at all these apples. We're just driving like a crazy person. We lost control, trying to go fast. If this gives us enough money to do the corn dryer, I think we're gonna pause on selling the straw until I have help. That's not the right place. Because this is gonna take so long. I will phone a friend. We'll do one more trip if we don't have enough, but I do wanna finish what I wanna do for this episode. <laughs> this was a, uh, I'm gonna actually have to think through this and I don't think we're gonna be doing corn stock next time we harvest corn. I think it's a little OP and I think the gleaner caused us to get a little more than we're supposed to really because it seems like it spits out oops that's not what we want to do a little bit more straw than other implements do or other harvesters do so that gave us about twenty-one thousand dollars. so we should be let's double check go into productions and there should be a corn dryer in here that we were looking at I don't remember. That's a large, this is the one we're looking at, 57,000. Okay, so we're close. Let's go get a little bit more. Got one of the big guys, which also holds 32. Okay, so that's good to know. So where did we start? I think it is about right here, here. That looks like a big one. Oh man, we didn't do very many big ones then. There we go. Okay, so the rest of these, when I turn around, should be able to get loaded on here and this will be the bulk that we sell and then we will move on and do the rest of this probably off camera <laughs> holy toledo yeah we could fit more but i think that's all we have of that size so let's go ahead and head back into town yeah our server's lagging pretty bad so we'll have to clean this up all right let's see how much money this brings in we are sitting good let's get home and we will make our new production if we don't fall in the river. Oh, that was almost really bad. So the location that I was thinking was right here. Well, let's look over here and see if we have anywhere we can sneak this before we start taking up that space that might turn into a field. Let's go ahead and go into productions. Let's grab it. Oh, interesting overlaps. That's where we're going to put it. Okay. So we're going to head home. Get the move. Stupid. There we go. Okay. Well, I was charging my wireless mouse, and when it's plugged in, it's not as easy to use. All right, we're going to take this corn here, right across the street, and figure this out. I don't see any icons. Oh, we got to auger this. All right, we'll get the auger over here. Hey, there's our apple cider. All right, how do you... Why doesn't it show me the controls? There we go. Hoping this one's tall enough, because this, is... this won't be a bad setup here if we can do it this way. And... I can never tell when I'm lined up on these things. Why can't I figure out how to turn it? Why am I this bad? I don't understand why turning it is like the opposite. This is why I don't like it. I'm crying. I'm a baby. It's incline seems to be our biggest issue, so it seems like maybe, maybe right there will work. Let's try. Okay, it says it'll accept it, but will it go in? No, why? I think that's working question mark no more capacity for oh this is gonna be a pain there it goes all right now we should be able to we should just be able to do it right i don't know if it'll keep up it seems like it is all right so now if we just leave that there and we'll get a different system to unload it that might work 
Let's look at our productions now and activate it. And you lose a little bit. That seems stupid to me, but that's okay. All right, and for the sake of sanity, we're gonna end the video here. We're gonna finish up moving all of that later on and we're gonna get the rest of our corn we're gonna fill that up with as much corn as we can and we'll take the rest of the factory next episode but thanks for hanging out i'm socks way up i will catch you on the next one we'll go back to last chance we have a lot to do to get prepped for tillage you can see we have some stuff here all prepped for cleaning we're gonna do some maintenance on those things we have all the corn in this truck right now because we need to get this back to happy so i wanted to go ahead and get this all moved to the factory we need to also figure out how we're going to purchase some raisins but i wanted to take a quick detour to kind of show you what we've done off camera and why we have a little bit more money than we ended last episode we've sold a few more well one more trailer full of the corn straw, the corn stocks. You can see here, yeah, we got a little bit more to transport and our trailer looks a little weird. I don't know what happened there. But yeah, so a little bit more to transport. So we'll be heading back here later on to take care of that. But for now, we're gonna go cross the lines and go to Wisconsin to our factory. A Little bit of lag on the server because of my bales still. We're gonna get those taken care of here soon though. I'm the only one on first. I wanna jump on before we start our recording session to kind of help out by cleaning up some stuff, but I still wanna do the episode the way I wanted to. A Little bit of ramble in there. And we have our steering wheel set up again. So we'll see how I like it. The biggest problem right now is I'm getting a little bit of frame dropping and responsiveness of the steering wheel is a little delayed because of it. Maybe you don't go 70 down a hill. Maybe, maybe that helps too. Kind of funny, the ping on the server, once I got far enough away from my farm, went from like 60 or 70 milliseconds down to 35 and it's feeling very normal again. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The factory here. So I got some phone calls out to a couple distributors of raisins and we're waiting to hear back from them on how much they can give us. Let's see if I can remember how to do this like that. There we go. This put in here, that was stupid fast. Did that actually work? It did. 1300 bushels we're almost out of oats and honey is looking pretty good still but we haven't used any honey yet or have we yes we did okay this production is looking good yeah we topped off the corn drying production before we filled up that so not as much corn as i was hoping for but it'll do yeah, and right here we go to 70 milliframe milliseconds a ping so i definitely think Gosh, is it gonna get worse as we get closer? 80, interesting. So it wasn't my imagination driving down here because we were very close to my farm. You can see it right on the map, mini map. And then as we drive away here, yeah, it gets better. Yep, let's get some of those bales out of here. But it's fine right here, curious. Maybe it's not the bales. All right, let's see if we can get this close enough to the pressure washer. I want to prioritize cleaning this up for Happy. There we go. We don't want to get any extra fees. That I'm sure $5,000 is going to be all he charges us for the rest of this since we paid half already. That's the hope. All right, looking good. Let's shut it off for now. We'll head on over to our truck. Start moving those bales. I'm not sure why they all shifted like that. And I think all 32 of them are there. So we'll go ahead and get this first load over. Hopefully clean up some of this lag. We are losing a little bit of money by selling it now, but it is what it is. Got to be friendly to the server. If it is even this causing the lag, I don't know. Hey, Happy moved his truck. Nice. At least we don't have to travel as far. This is a scary place to get lag. We don't want to end up in the river. So let's slow down here. Cruise up here. Yeah, I can't see my truck. So we're getting into the pole. Oh, right there should be good. Now let's see... They are liking to slide over. Drop them there. Oh, they stretched out. Look at that. All right, now we're up to $43,000 and seven more loads to go. This is looking good. That wasn't lag. That was me that time. I almost died. Well, gosh, it's already seeming a little bit better driving up that hill. We'll stop talking about the lag here soon. I know how to kill a dead horse, don't I? Beat a dead horse? I think that's the saying. All right, and I set all these up real nice for me to be able to just drive up to them, load them real quick, 
to make this a little bit quicker for me. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna have any assistance when I did this, but I decided I wanted to bust this out before the majority of the group joins the server. Load number two. Turn the wheel. Yeah, this area is rough. Jeez, so bad still. All right, another load. Let's go about right there. Got them all, nice. 22,000 dollars ah pretty good stuff so some of those loads are going to be smaller bales most of them are actually smaller bales after the next one we do so that dollar amount's going to start decreasing but i'm hoping to get close to 120,000 dollars by the time we're done maybe this route will be less laggy let's try that oh my goodness i bet you can see it in the video right now we're up to 99 90 milliseconds ping. Yeah, steering wheel is not the best idea right now. I think it might be all these trees, to be honest. This route seems worse. All right, six more piles, not too bad. Now loaded up. Trip number three. A few more trips to go and we're at $110,000. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. We're almost done. And these are gonna, gonna be the beginning of the smaller bales. So our dollar amount's gonna drop and we have a lot of soybean straw here as well for the next few loads. So I'm not, I don't know what the dollar amount difference is going to be. But really hoping for another 50 grand, and I, I don't know if we're going to get it. It's only the second time I've seen the train in six trips. Good luck there, I guess. All right, $750 for breakfast. That ain't bad this morning. That's it? <sighs> well, there, there was only five of us. There used to be ten of us. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, one of the city boys I heard left town. The other one, I don't know what's going on with him. Well, I know, I know Hazard quit. I know the co-op guy, He's he had to go out of town for a little bit. And I know the guy he was working with, he decided he wanted just to just leave the farm all together. And the guy across the river, we don't know. We ain't heard anything from him in years. I mean, weeks. Where's Yosho at? Yeah, uh, Yosho is at the house, and I guess he's still sleeping. I mean, I'm sure Nate doesn't pay him to be an alarm clock, so... I was about to say, uh, last time I checked, he's a grown adult, and if he's late, I just get to take money off his paycheck. So what's everybody got going on today? Lots of harvest. Uh, harvesting two fields, getting cultivation finished, hopefully getting a cultivator, the two cultivators continue rolling, and that's it. I've been so busy with my harvest. What does an apple orchard do to harvest? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah. Wow. You pick the apples off the ground? Not off the ground. Well, yeah. You, you, the you, you, well, yeah. Ain't that your secret recipe? Ain't that your secret recipe? Do you use the apples that have the worms in them or something like that? The more, like, squishy apples? Uh, we don't personally, but if that's the style you like, you're more than welcome to come out. We got tons of apples on the ground. Well, me and Alex got everything done, so Alex... Who do you want to help today? Uh, whoever pays better. I've got a $2 million loan, so I can't pay anything. So. Oof, Two gonna, million? I was going to say, I'm not paying anything either. You can, you can work for want, free. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not paying either, so I don't know where they say who pays best. I mean, I'll pay you free 99 That's about it. Hey, a free uh, 99 Free 99 <laughs> I'll give you free 98 Free 98 Free 98 How about a crisp high five? That's all you'll get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, I needed to speak to Chris because, Chris, I have all these oats in one of my silos. I need to get gone. How much you got? Uh, right about twenty five hundred bushel. Twenty five hundred bushel. What What's That's the amount eight. that you would get if you sold it at the top dollar? Uh, right about sixty five to sixty six thousand. All right, I can match that. All right. Four. Yeah, because I know you got something going on with the cereal factory, correct? I do, and oats is my missing ingredient right now. Oh, yeah, I got you. All right, then I will go home, and uh, I'm going to talk real quiet so Happy doesn't hear this. I'm going to take Happy's truck that I'm renting from him and head over to your house. All right, cool. That's going to be an extra uh, cost there, buddy. Well, I mean, I'm getting ready to buy a semi, like... Hey, oh, Chris, do you need to borrow a truck? I'll let you borrow my truck. One of my trucks for free. You calm down over there. I need money. <laughs> Did you miss the point of a $2 million loan? <laughs> <laughs> you right there. I got your back, Chris. I'll let you borrow for free. Yeah. 
I got right. you. All right, I guess we'll we'll be going back and returning the truck, and then I'll go borrow Nate's truck. After a very uneventful breakfast, where I don't really know what happened there, but we're gonna head over to the trucking business over here. I think I remember where it is, and give this truck back to Happy and uh, see what the damage is. I'm hoping it's still only five grand. Pull in here. It's all clean for him. Should have no complaints. Said he'd be here. There he is. Perfect. All right, let's hop out. Hey, Happy, I got your truck back. It was a dream. It fit more bushels than you said. I actually was able to use that and my gravity wagon once from the soybeans. And that was all I needed. Really? That's it? Yeah, so wow. that saved me so much time. It was worth all it. All right, good. All right, what's the damage? Five grand. All right, you're going to invoice me again. All right, let me jump into the system on my tablet here if i remember how to do that there we go and close paid unpaid pay invoice there we go all right thank you oh yeah just don't look uh, too closely these mud in flaps it are, these mud flaps are still swaying i'm not sure what exactly happened there but they're still they're still moving that's uh it's a windy day Apparently. Yeah, it's just pretty windy out here. Gosh, I think, like, doing the math, that's way cheaper than buying. It's way better. I bet it is, yeah. We try to keep our costs pretty low. It doesn't cost us much money to rent them out, so... If you ever need it again, just let me, let me know. Oh, maybe you'll have enough money to finish that barn now, finally. Oh, finally, yeah. That's interesting. That's, that's been going on for months now. The hey. contractors just haven't showed up. I was going to so say, gotta, the contractor's the issue? Them. Yeah, you should call them. This is... Yeah. It's November. We're lucky we haven't had snow yet. Probably want this done before yeah. then. I mean, it's wood. It can handle it, but... I would love to have it done before the snow hits. Yeah, that's... I'll have to talk to them. Uh, ask them why they haven't been out here. Maybe it's a uh, material issue. Maybe the material it, There's been shortages, stuff. but what I was thinking is, worst case, we could go down to Tractor Supply and get some tarps and just, like, create a yeah, roof that way. That exactly. Then you could store stuff under there. Yeah. What a shame. It's like time being. it's like 80% done. They just need to I know. finish the walls. Yeah, walls and the roof. The, the siding and yeah, it's just god. Yeah, you should get a hold of them. Meanwhile, I got just equipment sitting outside getting rained on. It's yeah. Not a good deal. It's not good. All right. Well, I'm going to I'm going to head out. Uh let me know if you need any help. Right. I know you got a lot of property to work on now. So, um, uh, I got a question for you. Yeah. How are you going to get home? Um, I need my my steps. You want to drive me home? Uh, so, uh, I feel like our deal was your truck was going to stay here for collateral, and then somehow that got taken back. I'm not sure what exactly happened there. Listen, I had 350 bales that I had to move, and I was worried about uh, the server's lag, so I grabbed my truck so I could do it faster. All right, yeah, you're good. I was just messing with you. I, I know, I know. All right. Interior is nice. It is very nice. Get the whole family in here. Oh, yeah. Nice cup holders. Are you sure you don't have... Look at those knobs down there below the air conditioning knobs. Those little gauges? What are those for? I could not tell you. See my new corn drying I... machine over there? Your corn drying machine? Yeah, over by the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, check this out. Yeah. It's a, it's a nice oh, dang. budget version of it. And typically, you put those next to the grain bin, so you'd have to transfer the grain that far. That, that made works. sense, but I didn't have any room over there, so I just kind of just bloop. Yeah. When they came by to install it, I was like, let's just put it right here. I, I think this noise is like white noise, so it helps us sleep better. I have to sleep. Um, do you want to talk about these tires floating in the air? I don't yeah. think you're supposed to rest the dog around there like that. You know... It's just how it is. All right. I need to I need to get some dirt and build this slope a little differently to so, or maybe take down some dirt right here it might help. Yeah. Are you able to uh, fit your auger underneath here to get the corn or get anything out of there? You know, that's we're gonna worry about that in a in a couple months. I might have to get the shovel out and yeah. That's a good point. Typically, you don't store the corn in the dryer. You just run it through there, and then, like, in 15, 20 minutes, you move it to the grain bin. But it's, it can be storage, I guess. Oh, okay. Well, once it's done, 
Actually, let me, how do you, where's the gauges on this thing? Let me check. Actually, yeah, it's about halfway done. So I think after I uh, get those oats, you're probably right. I should probably unload it and put it back in the bin until I'm ready to sell. Yeah, that'd be smart. Yeah, man, I wish I would have put it over there now. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to head over to Nate's. Um, something about All right. he wants me to try driving his truck. He said there's something wrong with it, so I needed to yeah, check, yeah. check it out. I, I, Yep. I heard the conversation, yeah. You didn't hear anything. Yeah, yeah I did. You could have just uh, said, okay. you know what? I won't charge you anymore. It's just like two more miles driving on it. But, you know, that's not what you're, happened. You're missing the uh, the point where I said I have a $2 million loan. Yeah, I got a $500,000 one and less assets, less, uh, less ability to make money. You got that ridiculous that. apple orchard. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's right. All right. All right. I won't take up that much more time of your day. I'll just head out. Ah, you're not taking up any time. Thanks for the ride back. I'll see you later. Yeah, no problem. Your truck's running. I left. <laughs> I was going to say I left my truck on the entire time. Oh, well. Happy on the CB? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Did you see that ridiculous jerk that left his truck right here the other day? No, who is that? Oh, it was this ugly orange truck. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't know who that was. Huh. I can't imagine. Definitely wasn't me. Oh, okay. Wonder if Nate's around. Oh, is he harvesting? Hi. Alex. Yo. Are you gonna? You're gonna be busy. So, do you want to send me an invoice for that sixty-six thousand? I'll pay you, and then I'll go to your farm and grab the oats. Yeah, we were actually in the process of loading them up. I've got. Oh, nice. Both gravity wagons full and my big tipper trailer full. That's how many oats it is. Okay. Okay. And I'll just head over there, and I'll take that first load and, and do that while you guys are helping Nate, then. All right, yeah. Yeah, send me that invoice. All right, we'll do. Okay. Thank you. So we have just arrived, and or we've just finished adding all the oats that we got from Alex, and he sent us over an invoice. So let's see if we can grab that, and we'll go ahead and get that paid. Oh, we're down to $80,000. Just got to get the tractor back to him. And then we can go home. But let's check the production now. So we have, yeah, a decent amount of everything. We should be getting some cereal at this point. It's uh, activated. Everything's going. We'll check back in a couple days and see how much product we have. But this is exciting. I'm glad we didn't sell it. We're about to turn a profit, I believe. But if we don't make $67,000, that wasn't worth it. Here's hoping. Time to head home and finally do some work on our farm. Been a long day of prepping everything we need for our financial future, but it's time to prep for the next year. One year down here, and it's only November, but we can get started. We can get prepped and ready for the spring. Finally time to clean this stuff up and put it away. Spray down here. And I think over the winter, we'll probably do maintenance on everything and make sure it's ready for the next year. That's all set. Let's get this put away and spray this down here. Man, this was a great purchase. We're still sitting at $80,000. So depending on what happens with selling the corn, the dried corn and all that, we might try to refinance that loan. Get the payment a little less, maybe figure out a way to have it not a lien against our house. Maybe just on the property, kind of like Nate was suggesting. There we go. We'll leave that there for now and get the gravity wagon put away. Actually, I think, uh, no, we're going to do maintenance on that. Hey, Nate, what's happening? Well, I heard rumors that you bought yourself a grain jar. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure I got enough clearance for this auger to unload it, because mine's about done. I think I got another couple hours and it'll be done drying. Okay, so I got a question. Yeah. If I hold my stuff over here and use my own augers, can uh, I borrow your grain dryer? What's in it for me? What do you want? Cash? What? You know, I'm getting ready to start tillage, and last year I, you know, I used my cultivator and then I had to spray for fertilizer. And I know you got those in hydro setups. Yeah. The way uh, I look at it. Yeah, one and a half. You have one and a half? Yeah, I rent the uh, tanks. Oh, okay. So you have the, the tool toolbar, but you have to, you rent the tanks? 
Yeah, because so, the tanks, you have to keep like so much of a spec on them. You have to keep them maintained. Earth like that. It's just easier to rent the tanks. I do have a tank. I do have a pair of tanks. It's, yeah. So I do have a pair of tanks with me, and you only need one tank, right? Yeah, it would just, yeah. They will just be yeah. me. Yeah, so and my fields aren't that big, so I could get it done probably in a day or two. Here's a question. Do you have a tractor bringing out to pull the toolbar, though? I think my Magnum should be able to. Mm, -mm. Mm, no. It's not. It's only, like, 340 horsepower. Hmm. I didn't think about that part. I'll let you take one of the Steigers. Ooh, okay. And then... Yeah, and then... I, I This this isn't one of the biggest dryers, but I believe it holds about 2,000 bushels at once, so you would have to do a lot of work. It's not the best setup. So I don't... Bushels at once. I'll run one big auger going out this way and one auger going back over to the top of it. Yeah, so you could have and it I'll going in it. as it dries. It could unload to uh, to another trailer. Yep, yeah, and then what I'm going to do is I'll bring my uh, pullover. Auger, I'll bring my pullover one. Oh, so that would be all awesome. All I got to do is just bring my semi trucks and pull it over and take it out. Well, we made it back to Nate's, and I think this trade's definitely going to be worth it. We're going to get some nitrogen or anhydrous in the ground to allow us to have good fertilization when it comes time to plant already. Should be great. Uh, not a nice setup with this big New Holland T9530. Pretty nice tractor. Got this toolbar back here and then the tanks, and we'll have to figure out how to fill it up because I have a feeling we might not have enough, but we might. We'll find out. Let's get to the farm and let's get started on our fields. It appears that Nate didn't upgrade this to have GPS. That's unfortunate. And okay, no, we're red, so yeah, let's get this lowered. Very nice. Sure, it's activated. And we should see color change, no? Oh yeah, it is, okay. It's just a little delayed there. Very delayed, but it's working. No GPS is gonna make this a little more challenging, but we'll get away with it. We'll have to drive on our own for once. I mean, we still have to drive on our own and get things lined up, but it'll just take me a little more time and I'll miss a couple spots we'll have to redo. But this drives like a dream. Definitely the right tractor for the setup. Not really struggling at all at nine miles an hour. Looking great. There's a bale we missed. So this field, we do plan on putting corn in it. We're gonna do a lot more corn this year. Probably not do many beans. We might on the oat fields if we flip them quick enough to get two crops in one year. But other than that, we're gonna do oats on the smaller fields and corn on the big fields. Really focusing on that factory moving forward. Got a lift here, we don't wanna get Happy's field. End rows here all taken care of. We'll do the same up there, but now we're gonna go back and forth. And let's uh let's see what the override recommendation is here. 15, that's, that's kinda nice. Let's uh, slow down our cruise control. Oh, yeah, it does this easy. It's missing a lot of spots, though. I don't understand what's going on with that. At least the nitrogen or the anhydrous is missing those spots. Yeah, this field looks rough, but it'll be okay. We can spray some fertilizer down after planting the corn to get some of these missed areas and just make sure. We have all the precision farming details added to our equipment, so we'll be able to reapply the right amount of fertilizer later. Really getting this cultivated is the, the big key right now and the anhydrous is just kind of extra at this point. So it should be okay. One field all cultivated. Again, the nitrogen data doesn't look the best, but we'll get that all sorted out later on when we plant, it should be fine. Gives us a good head start, good opportunity to be ready for planting season. First thing in the spring. We're gonna have to pick up this bale and get it out of the way. A little bit of cash just sitting here. Let's, uh, yeah, we'll move that over here. We'll remember it's there. Probably not. Hop back in and get going on this next field. Seems like a little bit of maintenance needs to be done on this to get the right nitrogen levels put down, but we'll just deal with it. It's unfortunate. It's just burning through more nitrogen than it's worth, and hydrous than it's worth, so. <clears throat> Got that deactivated, we'll just cultivate. We'll get it sprayed eventually, I think is how we'll deal with that. Uh, just, we're gonna burn through so much money on this anhydrous that's not working, so I decided to just kind of bypass that. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is, and we'll adjust. All right, the big field's done. Let's do the corn field next. I think, I was thinking through it here, we'll probably do oats on the corn field next year. Gonna really focus on the factory. And then we can put more corn potentially in the small fields. We'll figure those out. Maybe we'll split those as well, one of each. But 
trying to get this one all cultivated. But yeah, 15 miles an hour, this is a quick job. We'll be able to get Nate his equipment back pretty quickly after this big field is just a small, quick ones. That the uh, nitrogen's unfortunate, or the antidrous, but like I said before, and repeating myself, we have a sprayer now. We can take care of it ourselves. Not a big deal. What are the neighbors got going on in here? We check this. Barley. So barley and barley. Both those fields. Interesting. All right, start unfolding. Should be safe. Hopefully we don't hit the pole. Let's get past it. Whew. All right. Our field entrance here. Yeah, this is light work. Very nice. We'll get this last field done and then get this equipment back to Nate. Be like we never even borrowed it. And tillage is done. Let's get this back to Nate. Clean up the farm a little bit because... Winter is coming. All right, drop the tank off right here. That was the wrong thing. Oh, back up, back up, back up. And then the pressure washer, let's back this up so we can wash this off for him. Knew we were gonna lose it. Knew we were gonna lose it. Why backing up is so difficult for me on this game. It's just so wobbly. There we go. Should get us close enough. Yeah, I get this nice and clean for him like we never even used it. Sure, he'll appreciate it. Very nice. All right, we got that put back, and now we're gonna head back. Put this tractor exactly where I found it. I did find it in the field on a cultivator, so we'll do that for him. Oh, is he plowing? It must be. It might be a plow. All right, it's like we never even touched it. Let's get the tanks put away. Nice 710 that he's using just to pull things around with. Pretty tractor. It's like we were never here. Right there, this one right there. And we gotta put the harvester back where it was. Here we go, let's get back in the truck and we're gonna head on home. What an eventful day.